Hello, everyone, and welcome to another fabulous Tuesday. I'm very excited. If you're unfamiliar, this is a Flesh and Blood TCG we're going to be playing today. What is this game? Steven and I, one of the greatest games to release in the past decade, um, maybe ever. I It's got, it's got a certain something to it, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> it has a little... It really does have something factor. going on. Yeah. So last week, we did some crazy stuff. We opened a whole bunch of boxes of Crucible War. Mm -hmm. uh, those singles are imminently going to be on the website. But after that, you built a Ranger deck. Yeah, I did. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. After that, uh, is how you know we're really, really amped about this game. You were like, ah, let's go ahead and get this on the table and let's try it. And yep. we did. Yep. Um, then afterwards, you were a little delusional. You started having some crazy thoughts. Um, afterwards, I was delusional. Maybe during, before. All when the time. does it ever stop? But you had simply... the concept, and I don't know if you're going to pull it off or, not, or even try it, really. Of an arrowless ranger. Here's all I'm saying. I don't think arrowless is the right way to go, but I think that you got, I think you've got to, you've got to test boundaries. You know, like that uh, characterless deck that Greg ran in Thrones, degenerate, awful. Absolutely. So like, I think you have to start at the maximum extreme of like, sure. can is anything in this concept even salvageable? You know, and then start adding the good stuff back in. I did the exact same thing in Destiny, if you'll remember, mm. when I did Diceless. So it wasn't yep. that I had the That's characters, right. but right. then I was like, you know what? I'm going to include zero dice in my deck. And at the time, it was common to have like 15 of your 30 cards be dice providing cards. Mm -hmm. That was a normal thing. And I went to zero and I was still winning games. And then I went to four and it got a little better. And I went to eight and it was yep. like, oh, this is about the right number because I'm winning a lot. And then I added more and it was like, I have too many. So it's not it's not errorless. It's not zero. It's not zero errors. But it's all. also not like 40. But well, here's the thing that, you know, and I've been playing this game for quite a while now. Um, quite a bit. You know, you our first probably we'll, following we'll, along. You know what we'll have to do? We'll have to celebrate the anniversary of our first play, which will be like next month. Oh, that will be a big deal. We should crack some champagne on the play map. <laughs> uh, Get this one nice and yeah, champ. Yeah, I like I like them to be just a little bit gross. Um, so what I didn't realize, and, and maybe some of you didn't realize this either, as I was playing that game against Zach, I uh, had a question about essentially, well, is this going to work like I think it was? Because I had a moment where I really wanted to put something in my arsenal that wasn't an arrow, and mm -hmm. the only way I could do that was a reload card. And so I was like, well, I'll give it a shot. I'll read the, the card text for once. And so I read the reload text, and it doesn't say arrow card. So a reload can put any card in. So that any means card in your arsenal face down. Any card that's good to be played from arsenal, you could technically load into the arsenal, use it. You know, like I'm picturing, picturing um, Plunder Run. Exactly. Like a red plunder run. Oh, I went through and searched them all out, man. Yeah. yeah. So you, pl you play it from Arsenal, plus three. It has to go again. And if you hit, you get to draw a card, which is pretty phenomenal. So... Promise of plenty? I love that card. Every Drop time. it. Throw it in. You don't have anything in Arsenal. Something goes back in from top of deck. Now, if you're Ranger and you have Opt, you can guarantee that's an arrow. Yep. Or you can guarantee that you now have a card that Azalea's ability can cycle out. So... There's play there that I was totally disregarding. Because you were it, only thinking about it in the arrow lens. And it, yeah, and it's like, oh, I put arrows back there and I shoot them. But it really, Ranger is more about total manipulation of the arsenal, not just putting rain, Ranger cards or arrows in the arsenal. Sure. So I wanted to actually crack that open and take a look at what exactly are my options when I'm looking at cards that go really well with the arsenal uh, kind of stuff. So that's my number one objective. Now, I think we're still going to want arrows. Some um, amount, but you know, maybe a lot less, just to try it. And it really hit whenever uh, I, I did that reaction, uh, the defense reaction that put a card into Arsenal, and then played that immediately as a second defense reaction, which then played a third defense reaction. Yeah, so I, I had my like big dominate attack, mm -hmm. and you basically react with a defense reaction out of your Arsenal, and because you only block with one card from hand. Right. And you were able to put one in, right? And do it again, and put one in, and do it again. So you right. you blocked with three cards on a dominate attack by rolling around, yeah. Which is what Ranger is supposed to do, and right? Like, you imagine, you, yeah, it's like the you're rolling, and <laughs> you got to be agile. You can't just be a staunch response like a guardian, yeah. Um, so those things started to really get because again, if you're able to use a defense reaction to put a non arrow card into your arsenal, what does that look like? Right? Can you go into the next turn with a Promise of Plenty preloaded sure. and something in your hand that's going to make all of that? Well, happen? and it, I feel like one of the chief shut that door. advantages of that ability, like you were saying, so Ranger has this unique capacity to manipulate the arsenal. Yeah. And so even putting a defense reaction at the end, going into my turn, if you use it, great. If you don't use it, you're not stuck on it. 
But like one of the downsides. Unlike anyone else. That's right. Right. So I'm always hesitant. I'll have like a staunch response in hand. And it's like, well, this in certain matchups, it'll be a really smart thing to put that down. You're playing against Bravo, and it's like, oh, he might play a dominate, and I have like a big defensive card over here. Right. Um, but the, the risk, of course, is once that arsenal gets tied up with something, you can't just use it. It's true. And so I'm always terrified. But then the idea that you <laughs> have reload to kind of clear it out or you have uh, Azalea's ability, uh, it makes a lot of sense to me. It makes you want to play like a defensive ranger style build. I just don't know... Because it feels like you have the tools to do this weird, like, late game attrition thing where you can just constantly keep defense reactions throughout, you know, early to mid game, and then your salvage shots can keep cycling sure. by the time you get to the end well, game. Well, even if the cards you're actually playing are defense reactions, if the resources you're using are the arrows you're putting down, mm -hmm. there will come a point at the end where all you have is arrows. Yeah. So, like, there's actually kind of an interesting, like, Imagine it's just like at the very end, it's just error, error, error. constant error. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and you know that it is constant arrows. And so then you have stuff like Perch Grapplers, which gives go again, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know you're building to that phase where you're going to only draw four or five arrows. And also, the top card of your deck has to be air. Like, you could actually play in a way. Why don't we try to build something like that? Where you literally have, look. let's say, 16 arrows in, and those always go to the bottom of your deck, and you're just defending... And you have those like defense, the tri the tripwires that do damage. Yeah, that's what Shuichi's asking here. Did you guys get the traps to work? I felt like the traps worked incredibly well. You almost won the game with it. Incre yeah, almost. <laughs> if only they had worked the way that I thought they did. Uh, but that card did, uh, I think, at least once, maybe twice. It was a four defense, two damage back Which card. That's, that's un unheard of. Shame. Especially two damage that the only way to prevent is to pay. Mm -hmm. So like... As Bravo, that's really exhausting because I, I, the way I have it built is mostly blues. Yeah. So I'm having to give up three resources on my next turn to block the two damage. Now it's like that's just a bad exchange. Yeah, it's it's nuts. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, hey. First, that's a that's kind of where we are today. Um. And then maybe we'll play some more. Maybe we'll build some more stuff too. I, I we got to get everything built eventually, don't we? So I have. That's what I was. That's what you're brewing on. I actually have decks built for the four classes I'm playing. Mm, which wow. are Guardian, Ninja, Runeblade, and Wizard. So I've got to play the other ones? Well, I also tweaked Bravo. What terrible fate week. is this? Yeah. Uh, so I'm ready, but I, I like it because we can kind of... I think the Azalea concept is, like, really interesting. Um, but if you also, after we try that or not, you can start wherever you want. We can all start working on a different deck. But I mine are built. So Let's I, pull on Azalea. Do I have Azalea? Yeah, already? it's in that blue box. It's, Let's at least just start here. Can you, can you, we bust out? We've got the, the overhead on the friendly view, which I think would be nice actually for deck building. So let's leave that there. And let's look at this binder. Hold on, let's roll in here. So ideally... That's actually kind of nice. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? It's like, would you like to be our eyes? Right. So let's get through the ranger cards. Don't care about them. Let's go to the neutral cards that play off of if this is in your arsenal, something special happens. Dylan K asking, have we ever played Root the board? Have you played Root? I haven't played Root. I haven't played Root either. And I think that's a problem. We just... We haven't played many board we're, games. We're less... Though. Obviously, right, like this past year or two, like board games have been less on the docket because yeah, but, usually you want three or four people to play with. You never know. All right. This is armor. What gets better whenever it's from the arsenal? That's all I'm looking for. All right. The, nothing in the, the head slot of armor. Armor probably is not going to get better in the arsenal. No, you can save us some time here. You know, et cetera. We're just going to keep going, keep going. Armor, armor, armor. Okay. Uh, potions don't really matter in the arsenal. Don't really matter in the arsenal. They might be useful at some point, but... Um... All right. Uh, last ditch effort is not necessarily anything. Command and Conquer. Man, you have one? Did you Have you always had that many Command and Conquer? I have two copies. That's one of the cards I need. I'm going. I need four more. Oh my away. gosh! But I have two I boxes. I have two boxes of Arcane Rising, Unlimited that I finally got. We finally got those in. That I think we'll probably play Sealed at some point. So then after I open those, I'll really start aggressively trying to get the rest of those. Okay. All right. Anyways, all right. Uh, back alley break line red. We'll assume red for those at home popping cards up on the screen. If an activated ability. Red... That's interesting. You, so you gain an action point if anything puts it into your arsenal face up. Face up, which what? is Azalea's ability, and I think the bow itself, but I think the bow is only on... Uh, put an arrow card from your hand face up here, and then the top card of your deck face up. So it's Azalea's ability, that allow, and it also says once per turn on the Skullbone, turn a face down card in your arsenal face up. 
Uh, so is that putting it face up, or is that I think so. turning it I think face it, up? I think it's like got to be face up on the placement when it when it actually gets played. But I mean, you still kind of have a built-in way to do that, right? Azalea is the way. Yeah, but the question is, okay, so let's say this goes into Arsenal face up. You gain an action point, so it's kind of like this having go again. Mm -hmm. Or you can do two other things. Um, That's true. You can just leave it there. Completely independent. Yeah. Okay, that's a worth. Uh, let's just pull one copy of the red one out of there and uh, see what happens. It's nice and shiny. So, uh, barraging Bronhide doesn't really matter. Yeah. Arsenal. I'm just gonna skip things I know don't matter. Mm. There you go. Fervent Foreigner. Great example. Perfect example. Great that's card for Azalea. If How it are hits, we not running that? If it hits op two, and if it's from Arsenal, let's go again, and it's free. Let's just put that here. I'll give you a one one of set. What were we thinking? We weren't. <laughs> Promise of plenty. Boom. Another one. Yep. I love that card. Now we got a deck coming together here. There's enough cards here that, that we can actually play with the concept for sure. Uh, I want to play push the point always. You love that card. But I never I never do. Mm. I do not play a scar for a scar, you know. Scourge the scour the battlefield. Uh, you can put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck if you do draw a card. If it is played from Arsenal, it has go again. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Boy, I would love to be able to play. Uh, I guess you can play Razor Reflex, can't you? Just as long as cards. you have. Cheap action cards. Okay. It's actually way better on the action cards. Because it just gives, like, Red Razor Reflex is plus three on a sword or dagger. But on an action card that costs one or less is plus three and it gets to go again. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Very true. I think we have it in here, actually. Yeah. Obviously, defense reactions and stuff are probably already in your, your stack. Springboard Somersault is interesting, but it's not as good as I wanted it to be when I looked at it. Yeah, it's it's... I mean, a zero for two always, and maybe four sometimes if you play it for Marcel. You're probably most likely to hit that. Like, <laughs> wait, now wait a minute. Oh, they're all just yellows. Yeah. Okay, there's no differentiation. Yeah, they're like, what's the red one do? <laughs> yeah, the red one would be. So crazy. a zero for four that also can generate two money. Yeah, yeah, you know, I get it. It's on the spreadsheet. It is on the spreadsheet. Uh, cash in. How about that? That's going to be a thing soon. I assume in Monarch we're going to get some more money cards. I feel like this is also a deck that can run the uh, three of a kind plus uh, Tome of Fiendel combo. Mm. Where you end up like healing for nine. Yeah, if you have a lot of ways to get cards into Arsenal, because three of a kind, you can't play cards from hand. That's right. Yeah, yeah. afterwards. You just have a lot of reload. So let's see, how would you do that? I mean, there's nothing wrong going into your opponent's turn either with like nine cards. Wait, is that what three of a kind does? That's what three of a kind does, it's right? draw three, you can't play cards from hand. Huh. So you'd have to have like Tome in Arsenal, mm -hmm. play three of a kind. And then play Tome. Play Tome. And then you go into the next turn with a big hand. Technically you're at four if you didn't block with anything. Let's say you did a reaction. Yeah, let's go. Or let's, let's just say you just took it. Uh, so you have four, you play one, draw three, so you're at seven. Play a Tome from Arsenal. Now you that lets you draw two, so now you're at nine. And it heals you for nine? Heal nine. You have nine. Going into your opponent's turn. So then the real thing would be, again, what are you doing with nine cards? Anything. Reload. Go again. The Reload. Go again. Reload. Go again. That's what I'm doing. Come on. Come on. What's up, Starwind Mansell? We're glad to have you. Glad to have you. We'll, uh, we'll think about that. David, good to see you, too. I don't think it's necessarily bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, uh, this is interesting. So Foresight, the next attack action card you play this turn gets plus three. Mm -hmm. If it's played from Arsenal, opt two. Yeah, 100%. And it has go again. Yeah. So yeah. that's a really good card. Yeah. Because it, yeah, you you get it. I don't even have to run the math for you. Well, it had the Arsenal word in it. So yeah, it just has that it. keyword. If we were on a deck builder, we'd ter type Arsenal and see what cards popped up. Uh, there's Plunder Run. Watch yeah. yourself. I mean, Plunder Run's the card. It's the card of cards. It's free Foresight, except for instead of opting, you just draw a card if you hit. Dang. Okay, let's roll around. 
Slogism, Sun Kiss, etc. etc. One day. Yeah, I will eventually sun kiss. I'll play that. Mm, don't wanna mm. don't wanna discount all of the cards that I never play. But here they are. Look at this beautiful page. This is a nice page. Okay, cool. So th this is the spread. This is the suite. This is what you're looking at. Outside your typical uh, ranger shenanigan. So, and then let's see. In the you got the ranger binder. I, I sure do. I'll make sure I've got all the reload and casterly rock here. <laughs> For you. Yes, I mean it's just more noises. That's all the getting old is. It's more noises. Accidental pain. I'm going to pull a three of a kind because it's a card I really want to play. Wow, this is awesome. Starwind Manzel saying, I've jumped on the Flesh and Blood bandwagon and Ashes Reborn within the last couple of weeks because of you guys. Thank you for bringing them to my yes. attention. Yes. So uh, happy to have done that. Yeah. Phenomenal publishers, phenomenal games. Happy to do it. Is somebody mowing outside? It sounds like it, yeah. It's, it's January. Don't they know the grass is dead? Man, I hate mowing. Have I told you this? Have I got on my soapbox about that? Um, it, probably at some point in my life, yes. Doing something that you just have to keep doing over and over and there's no like finality to it and also being outside to have to do that is like, the, these are a few of my least favorite things. Well, how is it different than, you know, like drinking a beer? Well, I enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink a beer outside. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, take aim, reload, take cover. So if we're taking, we're reloading. That's what it looks to me like. That's right. Er, That's you, it. You'll never believe. Earlier, Rafe. Uh, Is that it? Really? Who's one of our more recent staff members? Even I've heard it's of been him. a while. He, I, I overheard him asking. Uh, do, <laughs> basically, if any of us liked beer, it's like I forget you missed like a good seven year phase of yeah. everything happening. Yeah. That's. I think. I think a lot of folks start there, and you either move on or you don't. Reload on poison of tips. That's relevant. Art of War, I'm, I'm questionable on. Take Aim, of course. That's a good reload card. So we'll just keep those coming. We do have Ravenous Travel, which I think is still relevant. Ravenous, relevant. What's Rapid Fire. What's it do? Uh, it's the one that you reveal the top card, and then next is the pitch value, and you reduce it so it becomes like a four attack mm -hmm. for zero, and then now, you get you to know the what? top card. This is totally how you have to play Ranger. Yes, 100%. We've, we've done it. Oh my goodness, man. I know, I've it's seen like the, the clouds have lifted. It's because like crazy. Because the problem always with Ranger is that you draw arrows, you can't play because you don't have reload. But when you have a bunch of cards you can play normally, they just get better in Arsenal, then the reload both works to put the arrows in, and also all the good cards. Yeah. And you can like, blind Azalea way, way easier because it's just like most of the things in my deck are going to be castable from Arsenal. Without having to be 40 arrows. Yeah. That you can only play one of a turn. So... Essentially, that, that gets really good. Like, scary good. Yeah. I think Azalea's tier one. <laughs> We've done, the game is over. She's we taking all the it. tournaments. Let's get out it's of here. over. I'm sure nobody's ever thought to use Reload like it's written. I don't know if anyone has. I've heard no one talking about that. I don't know. I saw some people in chat talking about it. I've never seen people. Alex, you were talking about using, uh, using uh, Three of a Kind and, you know, reloading stuff. Somebody in our Discord was talking about a Rangerless. A rangerless arrow deck, <laughs> arrowless uh, Azalea. Yeah, I was I was joking about using uh, that rusty sword, but of course, the, Talishar. There's still no reason to use it. Yeah, you see, you see the picture I posted earlier. Yeah, Talishar was definitely front and center. I love Talishar. Don't you want to? I want to see like a promo version of it. I don't know. I want it. I want to know why it's. But I want it to be great. I want the story. Yeah, I want. I want it to be great. So, like somebody what, comes along and they're like that? the. The bearer of talent, and it's like, oh, if you have yeah, this sword, right. you're like, awesome. You hand that over? Yeah. What's the stack you just pulled out? So this is all of the reload available in the Ranger card pool, which is the only place it exists. Yeah, of knowledge. course. That is their keyword. We've got take aims in various uh, colors there. And we might go all three colors on take aim. Because you know, they can put a card in. She replaces a card, right? One for she one. She replaces a card, yeah. There's got a card there already. In? Does it? Doesn't the helmet put one I in? I think it just looks. Turn a face down card face up, opt one, go again. Mm. So it, it just allows you to look at the top card primarily, and there are some cards that get better when they're face up, so you can just swap those up immediately. And it might be, I don't know, maybe you don't play the, the 
crossbone skull wrap. It's going to be hard for me to get to that stage. That may be too much jazz for me. <laughs> just one one step too far in the jazz. Just path. play the right notes. So Take Aim's the main reload engine that is just like kind of a zero cost, just reload whatever you want. Poison the Tips is a very specialized reload. You can just use it as a zero cost reload. With Go Again. With That's Go Again. Fine. And sometimes you have to. Now, sometimes you're probably going to get one arrow that could also discard a card. It's okay. Rapid Fire, again, zero cost reload. That's all we care about. If you happen to give an arrow a Go Again and maybe get uh, something else going on, then yeah, all the better. Well, I think I that say. if you can. That's maybe the one card you're also sending to the bottom with arrows. Mm -hmm. Like if you can put that on bottom and then have five or six arrows after that. Yeah. And know that you're going to have a four or five arrow turn. Yeah. I'm telling yeah. you, this is the heat. It gets hot in that kitchen. It's getting hot in the kitchen. Now, do we need more reload? It's about 12 cards that well, are you, instant reload. You have one built in with the arrow, right? Or the. Uh... That's only for arrows. The bow only does arrows. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with bows. They don't yeah, shoot. But, but it really puts arrows on the bottom, right? She puts things in arsenal on the bottom. Yeah, so you can drop it in with a bow and then cycle it Dude, up. Dude, that's so good. Yeah. You're literally just pitching your arrows to the bottom to have the, like, this is exactly All right, so you think, how so, Ranger is supposed to be played. So it then, kills me. What's the, what's the defense? So do we, need to go, do we need to go Tome with the heal nine? Do we need to go heal three with the instant? I like, I like the uh, we need turtle power. Plus. I think I like Tome. Is it all turtle power on this one? And three of a kind. Yeah. And then I also like all the defense reactions and the traps and all that stuff. Everything. It's like Azalea's... Normally you're thinking the opposite about it, right? It's like, mm -hmm. I want Azalea to flip me into an arrow. Yeah. And it's like, well, actually, no, that's not what I want at all. I want to stack the bottom of my deck. And then to me, that's where like even Perch Grapplers, all these cards that don't make sense start making sense. Like if you have a random turn... Uh oh it's a good sign, usually. But you have to be good enough to stack your deck like that. And she's going to move through it quick, though, right? Because she's oh, going to actively I'm good enough. this stuff. Uh-oh. We got drinks. Yay! Get out of town. What do you got? Sidecar. Oh, the sidecar. I said, Rafe um, ordered that so at much. the holiday gig. And I was like, this bartender... It's not going to well. This bartender is not going to know yeah, what they're doing with the I sidecar. wish that any drink Thank I had... Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. ...came out looking like this. Uh, <laughs> hey, cheers. Cheers, cheers Elliot. To reload. That's to everybody right. out there. To pushing boundaries, pushing boundaries. Um, but it's a really, new store that can serve drinks. We've we've been getting cocktails on Wednesdays, and we happen to have supplies that we're trying to citrus stuff. We're trying to turn through this week. We're working on uh, menus and recipes and whatnot for the three point version of our store. In case you're wondering, outside of just having a good time. So I think lunching press is gone. Art of War is gone. Yep. Start making the gone stack. Start making the Gon stack. Full circle. I'm going to answer the question real quick. It says, Hi, gentlemen. Wanted to ask if Legend Story Studios will release the new Blitz starter pack with the Monarch release, or will it be sold or given out for free like the Iridex? Thank you for all the content. Not really sure. We've heard rumors that there's going to be Blitz starters floating around, but we have very little clarity on when that's coming, what that looks like, what we're going to be have available for us. But we'll definitely uh, post updates when we know more. Look at that. Pathing Helix. Hot tip from Samuel Slager there. If it hits... Put a card face down in your arsenal. Yeah. So that's an arrow you would actually play mid mid game. Probably. Which is good to have some of those. That's uh, Anthony saying uh, one issue with trying to stack your deck in Rangers, you can't play Knock the Death Whistle. I think we don't. What does Knock do? It's the one that searches and then shuffles your deck. Well, you weren't even, were you playing that? Anyway? No, it's a total trap card. Did you, where'd you, where'd Just it have go? good hands well, and you don't have to tutor. That's my, isn't that the game? Did you put it somewhere? Do you have it somewhere? It's probably somewhere. Isn't it in like a? Is it in a hot stack? No, I didn't. I never even got it out. It looks like you got it out. Uh uh. <laughs> no. -uh. Did not. We've had this conversation a thousand times in our lives. I one, don't have it. In my short one thing. thousand. <laughs> it's it's probably in your deck or in a stack over here. It's not in this deck. I can tell you that. Oh lord. <laughs> looks like you're never playing it. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's in my collection now. All right, I'm going to let you take a look at these arrows. We're going to have to figure out which arrows to actually play. Because it's like a majestic or super rare or whatever, right? It is, yeah. It's pretty important. Worth a lot of money. Uh-huh. Let's see how it shows. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what happened. Hold on. Here. Is it in your box? Do you have a box? 
Doesn't feel like it's in that box. That's a good try. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I might have it. Uh-huh. My secret box. I got my blitz decks over here. Yeah, see, you, you're the one who is hiding it away. No, I don't have it. <laughs> I don't think I got it out of the binder. We can roll the tape back. Somebody out there knows. It's got to be somewhere. Did you put it somewhere weird? Hold on. Have you seen that? That's actually most likely when I'm working with you. Have you seen that cold foil uh, Vandal Spring Tunic anywhere? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have it. Can you imagine? I think it's in my cat's suit. It's just gone. You can also check the... Uh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. You can also check... Wait, where's my... Oh, here's my gear. Wait, you took... You took you took the fandels from me. Well, I just was making sure I had all my cards. Mm -hmm. I got you know mm -hmm. that. Uh, like I said, there's like a one ring vibe to that tunic where it's like, as it creeps up in value on the secondary market, I start acting weird about it. <laughs> I just need to make sure this is in my box. That's with me at all yep. times. Yeah, with me at all times. It's having my pocket. to my bed. Now, <laughs> I have no idea where that card went. You gotta find it. You don't need it. You see. No, I don't. I don't know. It's just bothersome, isn't it? It's in this deck box? <laughs> that would be weird. I'll find it. Did you guys do something with it? What is it in the generic binder? Okay. Knock shouldn't be with Shiana. That'd be a weird place for That would be a, an awful place for it. Technically, I think it could be, but she can't play arrows, so... What's up, Bugger Lugs? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, so these are definite cuts. Art of War, Lunging Press. Yeah, it's not in there. Hmm. Let me think about that. Where could it possibly be? I think you got it out in the stack, but I thought I grabbed all this card. I don't know about Razor Reflex either. Oh, wow, that's awesome, Matt. Got a box of Arcane Rising and a box of Welcome to Wraith per Zach's suggestion to get into the game, and I got a Fandel Spring Tunic. Super excited to play this game once stores are open. Thanks for the content. That's awesome, Matt. That's awesome. Great. Congrats. Congratulations. It's a phenomenal yeah, card. As good as it gets. Okay, we've got all the reload. Where would Steven have randomly put some cards? Oh, uh, man, this is like a conversation with my wife. It's like... You lost the keys. Do you need it for this deck right now? No, I don't need it. We will find it. But if it's making your palms sweat because there's so much money on the line, then you should just go find it. I'm not, no, I'm not. They could literally never show up again, and I would not be sweating because I am not probably ever going to play Ranger. All right, Until cool. a Ranger with a sword comes out. Yeah, and you don't need to knock anything. You need to knock the sword. That's right. Okay. Here's all of our reload. Ops, if you're listening, this drink is phenomenal. It's a good one. Do you need, do you need blue take aim? Next reload, Ranger reload attack plus actions one. plus one with reload. It's never really bad. We're doing three of all these reds, right? Just to see what the concept looks like. Okay. Back alley is questionable for me. I mean... The only thing that could hit that is Azalea. You know, it'll hit it maybe three times a game. If well, you're freaking lucky. I mean, you have opt, right? I do have opt. So, like, I can opt hard. You have a decent. Let's just try it. Put it in there, we'll try it. I like it. I like the concept. <laughs> Tor, right. those are some strange Destiny cards. Because I have my Destiny. That's how you set stickers around. All right. Now, I've got. All of my traditional defense cards. Fate for Scene, Sink Below, Pitfall Trap. Like you do. Do you want the other traps? Um, I don't... There's a limit to how many you want. I don't know where that is yet. You have gonna... nine defense. Technically, I have... This is kind of in both stacks. Twelve defense reactions. Twelve reload cards. 18 arsenal attacks. Bradley saying Fervent Forerunner is uh, is questionable. 
If it hits the top two, if it's played for Marcel Gaines, go again. I, you know, I think card for a card is fine in Ranger if we're going to the late game. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and like, you, you don't want to let it hit. So, like, they, have, they have to pitch a card to it. And you have go again. Mm hmm. Well, and particularly, you also have the weird stuff of like, you have Plunder Run and Foresight. So True. then it becomes like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, huh. I love Plunder Run. What's up, James? My chat's not scrolling to the bottom for some reason. Yeah, the big thing there, uh, Bradley, is Sikkim that, is it uh, the go again one? Sikkim shot? Yeah. Forerunner? Let me find that for we you. Needed, we needed the go again error. I remember that for sure. We'll get we'll get that binder shortly. Boom. Um, so... Alright. It's a dangerous drink right here. It really is. I have to really pace myself. Well, you gotta watch out too, because like, look at all these cards. Well, yeah. That's why I gotta you know, protect the precious. Just move it back. Alright. Um, What are we looking for here? What did you say? Traps. Do we need rock slide or do we need tripwire? I mean, I do like a zero for four. That's what tripwire is? Oh, yeah. Bring that on. Never against that concept. Okay. Tripwire is in. What was the other card you were asking about? The other trap, the rock slide. Uh, Sikkim shot. Is that the go again arrow? Sikkim shot. Red. Is it one cost? Go again. One for four. One for four, go again. Ah, so it's not zero for four. What's up, James, from the UK? Excellent. Uh, Samuel, did I, I said this. Do we want to put any blues? I just don't know. I don't think we need the money. I think the yellows that you have are fine. We don't need the money at all, so blues are cool. I, I would maybe put blue variants in if I was playing as wizard or something. Yeah. And I needed to generate for... Well, like, where... How, where are your arrows that you're playing right now? I currently just have this stack. <laughs> this is a stack. I'm currently not playing any of them, though, you know? And Ravenous yeah. Travel is also a questionable card here. It's nice. It's good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's not good. Here. You want to actually read it? Got that glare going on. It's basically zero for four. Go again. Mm -hmm. It's good in the arsenal. It's good not in the arsenal. It's just good. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Lunging Press is gone. Can you imagine if you have your three of a kind Tome of Feindel into a turn where you've got like five arrows that you're going to give go again? And you just do the, yeah, go again on all of them? That, you, have, you have to be doing that in this deck. I think I, it's literally like a bury them at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I think... Pathing here, can you grab two more three of a kinds? Do you have three? You know, for you, for you, I do. I got cards I know I would never use. That's very kind of you. It does help me though, so because I get to play against. You want to play too. against the the good the good decks. So in I my mind, what it, I'm looking at is I'm not even sure Razor Reflex is in this deck. I I don't know either. So I'm looking at Rapid Fire. Mm -hmm. and Purge Grapplers. So you have uh, equipment that gives a go again to all your stuff, right? Is that what Purge Grapplers does? Pay two, get go again on everything? Purge Grapplers, pay two, destroy, until the end of the turn, face up arrow cards, played from Arsenal, gain go again. So that's going to be one from the bow, one from Azalea, if you're lucky. Mm -hmm. One from Azalea, then one for the bow. But what you really have is like rapid fire. Till end of the turn, all the arrows are face are You literally want to pay for something with that? And surround it with arrows. And then I think, honestly, the the ideal scenario is having a bunch of zero-cost arrows all stacked up. And then you set up your three-of-a-kind tome turn. Into rapid fire a million arrows. And like... I mean, that's that's pretty ambitious. I like, I like that I think it's impossible. Well, even if you just three-of-a-kind into tome, or even just tome. But, or three-of-a-kind. <laughs> Either one, right? I'm not picky. Like, you're at four. You spend a card. Let's say you defense react from uh, Arsenal. So you spend a card, go down to three, and then you either draw three, go up to six, or you draw two, go up to five, gain five life. But if at that point you've got five arrows in hand, 
or four and or a rapid fire and a, and right. a few arrows yeah it's like you're just setting up for those big waves all right let's do it we just got to find a way to get them all in arsenal that's the the ranger problem look at all this reload we got reload in different area codes all right so what are my zero cost arrows i think i already have them endless is good in this situation ridge rider zero for four if it's put into your arsenal face up opt one seems good Searing shot seems unneeded. Red in the ledger. All right, we're cutting it. We're cutting it. We're cutting it all. It has a one. Maybe a red searing shot. <laughs> Maybe just a little. Oh, man, yeah. Remorseless is great. Let's just cut it, though. Let's cut it for now. Cut, 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 cut. Marie Kondo of deck building here. Does it spark joy? It's sparking so much joy right now. Okay. Here's our for sure arrows. Are there any other... Oh, we need those go again. What's the go again? That's the Sikkim shot, right? But they cost one. Cost one. That's not in the, that's not in the ballpark here. It's really the option, though. That's why we weren't running it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100%. But if you're gonna if you're gonna rapid fire, you just need zero cost arrows that have the most. That's correct. That's why, like, even Syrian shot is in... Um, 12 arrows we do yellow searing shot or we do another pathing helix since it's kind of playing into the put stuff in arsenal you have, game you have ridge rider shot right yeah and you have pathing helix and you have endless I mean that's enough right maybe enough because again you're stacking Azalea is sending arrows to the bottom and you're getting whatever you get on the top and you're playing out your best hands there but you're just playing scrappy for like 10 turns which it's not going to take you long to and load up. Pretty much everything here is zero or one cost. So, like, I don't even need to worry about yellows here, do I? No. As long as, again, you can get cards into Arsenal, you can imagine the super efficient plays you can do. Okay. Right here, right I'm now. Here. I'm here. Here for the party. Okay. Let's just throw these out. Now, I need to find you some tomes. Oh, yeah, we got to get the tomes. Mm -hmm. See what deck we are drawing from today. Yeah, Silver the Tip is a good suggestion, I think, Alex. Was it look at the top four and put an arrow somewhere? I do not know. You don't shuffle afterwards, do you? You better not. And you probably only need, like, two tomes, one tome? You know? It's never bad. It's never bad, is it? Even if you get it mid-game, it's like, anytime you draw three of a kind, if you have Tome, it's like, three of a kind, go again, Tome from Arsenal, gain nine. Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I think you're on three of those. <laughs> Just All right, let's go. Strictly speaking. Toman and Toman. Actually. I'm going to have to make some cuts here. I like. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start by cutting Razor Reflex. Yep. Good. I'm just going to start cutting the cards that I love. I agree with you. I feel like that's the way to start. Once I started building full constructed decks, my Shiana deck just started getting. Yeah, this is dice. awesome. This is way, way cool. I do. I feel like I'm in the old school zone, you know? Yeah, man. Expo we're doing constructed, right? You're exploring, like, this is how you do it. You do it one step at a time. It takes a while to get to that kind of refined, polished moment. Now, how many cards do we get? 60. Well, technically, you can have more than that. You have 80 cards minus your armor. So you have to have four starting armor. So you can technically run a 76-card deck. And you could cut any 16 of those cards before you started playing. Okay. Because that's your sideboard. But reasonable people are running how many? 60? That's what I'm currently running, yes. And you're reasonable. I also think because you're trying to stack the bottom of your deck like this, the smaller your deck, the better, because you're going to get to that end game a lot faster. Okay, I agree with you. Did you need to look at Silver the Tip? Oh, only if chat's really, really feeling it. Okay, Fervent. 
plunder run. I'm missing one plunder run. How is that possible? The... Hold on, I'll find it. Should you be here three, somewhere. right? I think so. I don't know. It kind of got... Yeah, here, here it is. Here? Yeah, plunder okay. run. Dexter Drake over here. Promise of Plenty. Foresight. Plunder run. Fervent Porno. Okay. All, All right. Sil Silver the Tip Red is one cost. Ranger action. If you have no cards in your arsenal, look at the top four cards of your deck. You may put an arrow card from among them face up into your arsenal, then put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. So you go get Not an arrow. I, I don't, again, we're relying on the fact that at the end you're just going to... Do you have to take cover in there? Yeah. Okay, great. A bit red, at least. See, I'm, but I'm a big believer in leave out all of your tutoring tech cards until you have the concept. Until you know better? Yeah, because like... Mm, yeah. No, I get what you're saying. It's just, it's just me. You don't have to convince me. It's just me. You know what? I think I might know where some stuff is. Hold on. Oh, he found it. It was burning bright the whole time. The brain was ticking. Where? He felt it like the call of the ring. Where is knock the death whistle? That's worth 60,000 US dollars right now. It's hyperbole. Good looking card. It's all on screen. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 11, 12. Okay, 24. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-six. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, forty-eight, fifty-one. Found them. Fifty-four. Your short stack of cards was over here. All right. Only two tomes. Uh, oh, you already sleeped in. Nope, those are from my deck. I need you to do the proxy two. one. I'll just play two. Do you just, I already have a proxy in the wizard deck, so I didn't I just flipped around. Got it. It's a tome. One cost, draw two, play from Arsenal, gain a card. Yeah. yeah you, you have to play three tomes in Azalea. It, that, that's crazy. It's a phenomenal card. Okay. Then Ravenous. We're going to get these guys in. Not me. What up, Jordan? Saying love at Flesh and Blood Day. Yeah, me too. I, I'm obsessed with this game right now. Danny's saying knock the dust whistle. The whistle. Twenty thousand dollar card confirmed. <laughs> I'm mildly afraid. Like you see those videos now of early Magic tournaments where they they weren't using sleeves yeah. because the cameras couldn't pick up cards, and yeah. then it's like that sounds awfully familiar. It's all alpha. Yeah. Like twenty thousand dollar cards now, and people just like watch it and like cringe because it's like. Oh no, you had no idea. Three slots left. Options. Hit Ravenous me. Rabble. All right. Generically good. Back alley break line. One cost five. Gain an action point. I like Ravenous because it's zero cost. Me too. Also, raise a reflex. Don't need it, right? I don't think so. Who needs that? It's not even a good card. Who would ever? That's what was when I was building Runeblade and Wizard. I it got weird enough that I wasn't running standard cards, and I was Actually, like, I feel happy about this. I think the best answer might be yellow. Take aim. Wait, I already have it in here, don't I? Perhaps this is going to be weird to play. Re speak in my language. I have yellow take aim. Wait, do I have red take aim? If I don't, I, I'm. A fool. A moron. Okay, I do have red, yes. <laughs> All right, let's play it. All right, I'm going to play my updated Bravo. Okay. And then I'll start switching decks because we can, which is fine. I mean, Wizard and Rune Blade are both just so weird to play against. I don't know why you've done it, but Katsu is a good test. I mean, Wizard and Rune Blade do exist. Yeah, but we're not ready for that yet. I've got to think about arcane damage and how to now use yellows and blues instead of all reds and yada, yada, yada. Is this... This is the wrong camera angle, isn't it? Yeah, it's because we're, we're building. And it was nice to build with. Yeah, that is nice. Although, 
honestly, I oh, it's because we're on the wrong side, yeah. Yeah. Because now your left side of the screen. My hands are over here. But this is the right, right side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll switch it up. You guys want to go on a journey with me? I'll entertain them so they're not distracted. Well, they're not five-year-olds. Well, I mean, like, you know, et cetera. They're all much older than five. We don't know that, actually. Uh, so I some changes are quite good. I made to my deck. Uh, there were cards in my deck that were yellow or red that were cramping my resource curve in my Bravo Blue deck. And it, it would never be worth it. Like, they were cards I was not ever making uh, use of. So I like I dropped the potions. Um, I had too many resources. Like energy potion wasn't ever worth the turn to basically get down on the table. Um, get a sausage factory again. I guess that's probably an un unfortunate term. <laughs> what I mean is you're making, watching, you know, making, like the making it. Yeah, of I get it. what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Nick saying I can confirm at least five years old. Jim Volan, fantastic voyage. Bradley's this, saying, they're weird decks. Keep the camera weird. Is this better? Yeah, that's, that's easier for us, right? That's closer. Is that all right? Jonathan's saying, watching OG... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, magic, watching OG Magic players bridge their decks makes me panic. Where they shuffle like a... Hey, I, uh, I, I really want to get this card in Cold Foil. But the Cold Foil prices are insane right now. That helmet, though? Who who wouldn't want that in gold foil? Finished with the... Uh, oh, that's blurry. Finished with the uh, vision meeting today for the components. Fab. Oh, it's going to be good, man. Literally... If it actually happens. It's... Having our... Whatever ends up resulting as our flesh and blood compatible tokens is, like, top five things I desire in the universe at this moment. Right there next to the Lamborghini. <laughs> a Lambo? You're a Lambo guy? I am a Lambo guy. Really? Yeah, well, I've liked Lamborghini since I was a small kid. It's kind of like the Darth Vader of cars. <laughs> I don't know how to take that exactly. <laughs> uh, you want to get that tunic for me, buddy? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. I just want to touch it for a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is still... Also on my top five things of things I secretly desire is the coal, gold cold foil tunic. It's weirdly, like, high on my list. Ryan Roper's got a cold foil helm. He'll trade it to you. Oh, he says he will trade it. Yeah, he I, said he'll trade it out of the goodness of his I heart he for all the teasing. streams. He says he's going to send it to you for free. I, I don't read that anyway. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Bradley's saying I'll order two sets of tokens right now if it helps guarantee they happen. Uh, it's it's going to happen. Brad also, uh, Brad D here asking a great question here. Hey, all, I need help. I have all this water and really no great way to carry it around with me. You know, I think we might have the proper solution. Well, thanks to a groundbreaking partnership between the tabletop industry and Nalgene water bottles made in the USA, we're bringing to you the first ever Nalgene water bottle designed specifically for tournament performance. Carry water, carry your life, carry your wins. I've been told Nalgene. I've been told it's the Luke Skywalker of water bottles. <laughs> uh, you Ryan, can wield it somewhat like a lightsaber if you and got the blue going on. Ryan Roper saying, are you guys gonna use champions player boards or no good for constructed? So I actually used it and I really liked it. Um, we're doing a version of that technology, yes. In your vision. Yes. I, I haven't heard the vision yet, but I'm excited about it. I, it, when I use the, I literally use Champions, uh, or no, was it Destiny or Champions? I don't remember. I'm gonna keep this away from this drink. Yeah, I think our, both our armors and stuff over here. Can you just put it? Can you put it behind you? It's fine. That's double sleeve. It would take so much work for. Are you serious? To get in there. You Are you willing see, to risk it? See the little like uh, clear sleeve in there. I think our track record with drink spilling is high. High. Yeah. Okay, there they go. There's your skull bone. Uh, let's line these up with the edge of the bracers. Bone. Birch grapplers. I'm saying if it happens, I'm not. I'm not responsible. Everybody here is now has a record. You think we'll see Fandel's like autumn tunic? Ooh, I had no idea, but now I suddenly want yeah, more things right, on my right, list. Right, right, right. Uh, Did you read the old Dragonlance, uh, Dragons of Autumn, Twilight, Dragons of Spring? Oh no, of course you couldn't. No, it was um, disallowed. Uh, and ego saying you were how, going to hell. How do you pop cards up on the screen? Um, we have a guy on staff named Jonathan. 
uh, who built a... He's basically a wizard of that kind of stuff. He's our lead designer, no less. Yeah, and uh, he built a system uh, out of a bunch of different technologies to make it work. So I don't really know how to explain it. I just know it's fancy. It's not something... I'll tell you this. It's not something we, like, bought and are using. It's something we built from the ground up. Jeff saying, I just came in after watching the end of yesterday's Kang stream, and it's the Nalgene commercial, the only commercial I don't mind. <laughs> also, they're not actually a sponsor. Just putting that out there. Legal team makes mistakes. Yeah, yeah, it's like the quick text. Nalgene America is not a sponsor. EA <laughs> saying, sippy cups for gamers with four money signs. No, I 100% admit. Uh, we had a comment on YouTube that's like, hey, have you ever thought about doing a lid on a glass with a straw? And it's like, we have, but we're just trying to avoid the fact that it's just a sippy cup. Yeah, yeah. Also, because anything that ends with a Y like that, I just don't want any part of. Sippy. <laughs> Sippy. Sippy cup. It's like, ugh. Oh, that's why you'd have to make a new brand. Yeah. And really brand it. Can you uh, hit me with some D6s? And Ego asking, is it voice command? No. So, uh, Jonathan and or Bryce, mostly Bryce, are at home listening to and watching us stream. And then when I say, like, Crater Fist, uh, they're working to make sure that pops up on the screen in some kind of reasonable fashion. Uh, we'll see. I want to see how long it takes for the card to well, show. There yeah. it is. And, Bam. And we, we could ha make it happen faster. So we've been working on maybe implementing a delay, but the problem with the delay is that the chat is also delayed. Yeah. So we get to interact less lively with all of you. And by delay, it means that we say something live, and then there's a delay between when it's actually airing to you, but that gives people at home popping cards time to get it to come up by the right. time we're actually saying it. But then we're seeing the chats like late. Because the card popping is not delayed. Just what's coming through the camera is delayed. I like the spread you got going on. Here. Well, you know. These are Bryce's Dice, actually, too. <laughs> that should be a brand. Bryce's Dices. Bryce's Dice. Well, I'm halfway. Oh, those are unseeable, aren't you? The clear ones? Yeah. Yeah. I, you remember those little D6s for Star Wars TCG? Of course you do. <laughs> yes. Uh, My life revolved around getting a new set of those and like defining myself by it. Yeah. I had a clear set. That Will Kelton hated, for good reason. Yeah, I feel like that's basically Perfect. your guys' relationship. It re actually <laughs> is. I was doing things. I did hateable things, and Will hated them. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Okay. What, what's your uh, dream car, if there is one? Uh, it is an old school like Jaguar. Mm, that's like, very you. Probably like what? I don't. I don't know cars at all. But like sixties ish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, class. It's not like. Uh, it's not like uh, pompous or like. Um, hey, look at this car. It's just like mm. ah, this is a nice machine. I really, really like late sixties Mustangs. Mm -hmm. But I did a decent amount of research on it, uh, and they are effectively death traps. Yeah. Um, well, so I was sad about cool that. that won't kill you. Honestly. Yeah. I agree. Really, the dream vehicle for me is a motorcycle, but that ship has sailed, unfortunately. Yeah, called getting married, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, you can have a midlife crisis later, I feel like. <laughs> I'll enable that for I, you. I feel like I had one of those, ultimately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you. you can read more in Zach's autobiography. And you go, uh, we had a 5 or 10 second delay, and it was very much affecting uh, the interaction. So 15 to 30 seconds would be way too much. Ryan, you don't get a cool classic car for its safety record. That's a mysterious. No, you have not missed the first game. We're about to dive into it now. This is a new build of Azalea using a lot of reload into arsenal attacks that are not arrows. Uh, and the whole point, I'm trying to not use arrows early. I'm going to use them as resources as we go. Uh, or just have them in the arsenal and Azalea them down to the bottom. And then, at the end of the game, I'm going to unload your arsenal. Like uh, like a you know a Diablo character, I'm gonna shoot all the arrows <laughs> I can have. Even Steven. It is even. This is our the purple die is not to be not to be used as health. Okay. This is the magic die. Your first. Right, House of Mysteria. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's see if it works. Um, it's basically like defense reactions, chill, drop arrows. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we're on the same page. We're on the same page. We need to exchange notes. We'll see. I don't know. I've got Ryan, a lot. Ryan, of... I'll message you by the way. I've got a lot of hope for this. So it could be a double obsession situation here. 
For those that don't know, Steve and I traveled to Texas for some spoils tournaments back in 2007 or 2008. You know the only, you know the most memorable thing, there are two things I remember about that trip. One is that we were an hour late to the tournament for reasons that uh, were not entirely our fault. Well, like the, the people hosting the tournament announced it initially as one time and then later on their back alley website changed it. Changed it. Yes. But second was that the Jack in the Box breakfast was so good. It was so good. I, it was surprising never, too. I have never done away with how much I love that. Yeah, my uh, brother-in-law was like, just randomly, we were staying with him and he showed up at his house that morning. We just woke up and we were chilling that morning. He's like, I got some Jack in the Box for you. And I never had it. I was like, that's delicious. And then we show up to the tournament, roll in. We think we're 30 minutes early and we're 30 minutes late. So instead of letting us play the first round against each other, they gave us both a first round loss. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that cool? That was the day I lost to that auction house bag. Uh-huh. It's like first round, I, I, you get an auto loss, and then I play against auction house, and it's like 30% of the time you cannot beat it, and 70% of the time it's awful. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it hit the 30% <laughs> to just beat me. And it's like, all right, well, I'm 0-2. This uh... is a great trip. Now tell me, now watch this. Tell me if this is at all reasonable. Okay. Well, before you do that, you should put a token over here on Fandel Spring Tuning. I'm also going to get like a a gilded die to use specifically to put counters on that card. In hopes that one day I have the gold. gold you know, gold. it's funny because you want to play Fandel's Tome when you hit your Spring Tunic resource because that means you don't have to blow a card to use it. Isn't that interesting? Mm. I'm sure somebody else has thought of that. Big brain time. Okay. James saying, any news of UK distribution for Monarch? So we're working on UK distrib like our ability to serve in the UK pretty much every day. It's a, a lot of stuff going on there. But I also do not necessarily anticipate it for Monarch specifically. Uh, but we're working towards getting to the point where we can serve domestically in the UK for those, those products. So if I did, uh, check this out. I'm checking. It's just, yeah, it's so weird. I'm not going to do it at all. Great. Um, what I am going to do... Ryan Rober saying, Jack in the Box breakfast sandwiches are dangerously good. They're my favorite. I haven't had them in a long time. Maybe That may have been the only time. I'm just going to Arsenal. What? I, yeah, it's first turn. You don't attack on the first turn. Do I have any instants? Okay. Yeah, so I'm just stuck on my hand. Then we both draw. That's You're right. not giving me a chance to mulligan. No mulligan. Sir? Mm -mm. Well... Well, it's hard to love and not be loved. Well, it's hard to please your mind. Let's go ahead and use my tectonic plane. Can, can you give me a couple extra dice? Oh, my we're gonna need them. Gosh, I've got to do everything. D6s, or you want a different die so we don't get confused? Whatever you want, man. How about a D4? Great. Uh, those are the worst. It's a four sided dice. I know. I'll drop. It's the weirdest. <laughs> Create a seismic charge token. Technically, no. I need the two. <laughs> I can't see this at all. <laughs> Who invented this? All right, hold on a second. Here Egyptians. We all right, here we go. Here, we'll use... use it, it's a pyramid. Use the number one. Yeah, great. All right, so these are my resources that are floating here. I'm playing on a three-inch by three-inch board over here. <laughs> no, yeah. It'll only make you stronger. All right, so I create a seismic charge token. I have two resources remaining. With me? Yep. Then I will use Bravo's ability. Uh, which I can't technically do. Yeah, I'll use Bravo's ability. Cards I play. Is that a dominate, dominate thing? Dominate, yeah. I guess. Yeah, Dominated Arrow first turn isn't bad, Anthony. Let's flip this. The problem is you don't have anything to start with, so... So I use his ability. And I guess I just roll, man. Well, start swinging. Right. We're going to play a blue disable. I have one floating resource. Just in case there's a trap. Yeah. Uh, it says, uh, Crush, if disable does four or more damage to a hero, put a card from their arsenal on the bottom of their deck. Seven damage, dominate. Come and get your boy. I'll let you boy. Um, 
I'm going to pass the defense step. Reactions go to you. Mm, pass. Pay for scene. Red. Opt one. You got it. Is it resolve? Mm hmm. Leaving it. Leaving it to Steven. From hand, sink below. Covered it up. Covered it right up. I'm going to put a card from the bottom. Mm, and draw it. And draw it. Into my round? Mm hmm. These are going to go under. Throw it back up. Vandal Spring Tunic. Ooh. Ryan Moore said, I've stepped on a D4 before. I would not recommend it. That would hurt. That would hurt. Yeah. It's like a home alone situation. Okay. So this is interesting. It's interesting. Very interesting. Interesting, dude. Interesting. You know, because you don't have any... Uh... You don't have any thing to do. Okay. I'm going to pass it again. Wow. Now I'm going to drop something in Arsenal. I'm going to do that. Oh, you just don't have reload. I get it. Yeah. I do have reload. You can believe it. Crazy. Mine? Mm hmm. Seismic surge triggers. Next, uh, Guardian attacks minus one, because why not? All right. Uh, I think, let me get this right. I did this. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I do one, six, nine, one, two floating, three, so I can technically do that. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. Two, three. Okay. Let's do this then, sir. I'm going to play a blue Emerging Dominance. What's that? So I have one floating. Uh, it's an aura, so it stays in play. Mm. At the beginning of my action phase, I destroy it, and then the next Guardian attack action gets plus one and dominate. So I basically pass the dominate on to the next turn. Then I'm going to play blue Showtime. Showtime! It says, when Showtime enters play, enter the arena, search my deck for a Guardian attack action, reveal it, put it into my hand, then shuffle my deck. At the beginning of my next phase, destroy this and draw a card. Cool, so you just get an awesome turn next turn. Yeah. So let's go for the Crippling Crush. What's that do? It's a 7 for 11, and if it deals 4 more damage, you discard 2 random cards. So you're saying I need to load up my uh, and I'll defense I'll put this in Arsenal. And you know it's got plus 1 in Dominate. Yeah. And then I'll shuffle, and then I'll put these on bottom. I love Showtime. Just look at that thing. You go ahead. What do you want? Be prepared for Wiley. Be prepared. Okay. Let's do a little skull bone cross wrap. We're gonna turn a plunder on face up and opt one. Hmm. 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 You leaving that on top? It's a great question. You know, we should probably do that thing at some point where we play our hands face up. Mm hmm. That would be an interesting conversation. Jordan said, seriously, I'm trying to armchair quarterback this game, and I realize I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> well, welcome to the club. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Hunting Dog says, I should be getting some basic decks I found in stock today, ready to try this out with a local bro. 
Well, good luck. It's a great game. Man, oh man. I've got two lines here, and they're both good. Use that tunic. That's all I got to say. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Jordan Hightower. Also, I've never played with $10,000 decks like these. I don't know they're $10,000 decks. I'm, I, the, I'm actually nervous to know how much the stack of cards is. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. So then we have Zillion. Let's open your arsenal. Okay. Okay. But I don't want to get disabled. I'm going to throw this on bottom. Ah, I can't do it. It's a good problem. These are this is a good problem. Good problem. Good problem. I can leave the room if you need to chat with chat. Oh, hold on, am I missing anything? No. No. I need one of these things to have a go again. <clears throat> That's what I need. I don't have any go again. All right, I dropped it all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. How about... We'll do it like this. I, I'm going to leave this on top. Then I'm going to play Plunder Run from the Arsenal. Plunder Run Red. So your next attack is plus three. And if it hits, you draw a card. Then I'm going to play Poison the Tips. Okay. End of the turn, arrows, discard a card, reload. Here. So good. Then I'm going to play Fervent Forerunner. It hits up two to six damage attack, and it gains go again. Hmm. Okay. If it hits, I draw a card as well. So if it hits, you draw a card and opt two. You could opt two first and then draw a card. Yes. And that's really good. All right, let me do my math. So I've got a seven. I need to be able to play it. We onboarded ourselves into this really nicely. This would have been complete. I, I imagine myself thinking about this when I was like first starting Flesh and Blood. This would have driven me insane with non-understanding. Yeah, I think so. If starters sealed. Yeah. Blitz. Sealed, 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 sealed. Seal, 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 seal. Blitz. Blitz, 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 blitz. Back blitz. to sealed. Sealed, 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 sealed. Constructed. Constructed. So if anybody out there, I'll just say a little PSA. If anybody out there is confused, and this looks very strange and hard to understand, it is. At its highest level, it is. But you just, it, you, it will sink. It's very natural once you, once you get it. And you will get it. You will get it. Uh, Colin's saying, Wow even making Fervent Forerunner look like a good card. It is a great card. Look at this turn. You just got to find your pocket. That's right. Uh, let me do my math. Three, six, nine, seven. I don't need Dominate. So really, I just need seven. Three, six, seven. So I could block with some cards. I feel like op two and it's not good business. It's great business for me. So let's do this. Yeah, it is great business for you. <laughs> uh, let's go uh, Crater Fist. No Dominate or anything? No, nothing fancy. No, nothing much. Plus Blue Debilitate plus Helm of Eisen's Peak to get to six. Oh, very nice. If you have a reaction into it, I, uh, by all means. No reaction. Resources. No reaction. No reaction. Well, that's not the game we're playing. Uh, so, this will work just fine for this case. Minus one. Uh, do you... First attack mm -hmm. on the chain was Fervent Forerunner. Let it be known. And it has a go again, so you get to keep going. That's right. Use Redliner. Okay. 
To load an arrow up. Pathing Helix. Mm-hmm. Here we get loaded. Shooting Pathing Helix. It's four damage. Now remember, Vage, you have to discard a card. Really? Courtesy of Poison the Tips at the start of the turn. Yeah, you also had that going this whole time. You know, just rolling around with some Poison Arrows at the last second. Cha! <laughs> What's going on? Um. <laughs> all right, let's. If I'm gonna have to discard a card anyway, plating and a yellow pummel. Oof. Nice for four. You did it. All right. So it doesn't hit, which means I can't put a card in arsenal. Though it doesn't really matter unless I had go again in it. So I could see where this could could matter. Mm -hmm. Um. But a lot to say, we're going into Arsenal with this, and then we're drawing our four cards. Makes sense, makes sense. All right. Beginning of my turn, Showtime destroys itself, and I draw a card. And then I'll spend one here to create a Seismic Surge. And I have two floating. Don't mind me. Look at you building a mosaic over here. You're playing Sagrada? What is this? Basically, yeah. I like your Sagrada reference Thanks. here. And uh, my next Guardian attack has plus one and dominate. So I'll go ahead and flip uh, Red Crippling Crush. Cost me seven. So I had two. I'll spend six more. I have one left over, technically. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a, don't mind me, 12 damage, dominate attack. If you take four or more, you have to discard two random cards. The big R word there being critical. It's crippling. <laughs> uh, now you said, uh, what I, I got to block 12, I got to block 8 to get around this thing, and I can only look, look do this thing from hand there. Yeah. Also, this the uh, this game is phenomenal. Yeah, it really is. Isn't it? Have I mentioned that lately? Between sealed and, hey, that's crazy. Jordan Hightower, dunk. Yeah, this one's all the way from half court. I, I have some interesting things to think about moving forward. Concepts? Concepts. We just keep tweaking. Um, man, I was so close to bamboozling you. Uh, so close. <laughs> ah. So I'm going to discard two random? If you take four or more, yeah. That's that's a, man, that would be a hundred percent. Are you super close to like defense reacting me out? I I will block with none from hand. Okay. And then I'll pay zero for this tripwire trap. If you don't pay one, hit effects don't matter. So I wouldn't discard two. Oh, if I didn't have a floating yeah, research floating right reason, yeah, you got that, that is floater. Noxious! How Woo! fortunate that is for me. All right, I'm taking eight. The little things you learn. All right, there's one. You take eight and discard two randos. I'll just grab these two. Were they good? What were they? I don't know. Ah, they were actually... Foresight fine. and for, for, Forerunner. Fine, fine, And fine, I paid fine. the one. Okay. My turn. See, this is the problem. The problem is I want... This is such a weird turn. Pass. Entirely. Oh, yep. Yep, well, that's I'll, what the Crippling Crush does. I'll show you what's up. I'll show you what's up with it. I was hoping you would attack almost because I had a red sink below. Mm, good. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't play into that nonsense. I'm going to put Seismic Surge in the queue just so I remember it's there. Oh, right. House of Mysteria. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't even play this, right? It can only be played for Mars. Oh, oh, yeah. So yeah, I'll just block for two with a card from hand and you'll okay. discard the tripwires. So and I have the floating resource. That uh, old trap arsenal thing gets less us again. good. It's less good. All right, you ready for me to go? Uh huh. All right, all right, all right. So it's minus one. Let's go ahead and I'll pay two for Bravo's ability for dominate. Mm -hmm. Then I'll play a red mangle uh, for three and minus one because of seismic surge. Mm -hmm. It's an eight with crush. If it deals four or more damage to a hero, destroy target equipment they control with a minus one counter on it. You None of those. Any. It's just an eight with dominate. Outcast, Outcast Haven. I totally agree. Getting reps is always good, so take the reps. 
Um, just dropping a reaction there. Okay. Lock for four, opt to one here. Yep. And I'll put this in Arsenal. And this will go away. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> All right, I got to play this because I just need to, I need to start moving here. Uh, Tome. Oh, hello. Using Fandel's nice. gain five life. It's a good card. It's just weird because like it's stuck in there, and you're like, I I keep not having enough cards to want to play it, but if I don't play it, I can't do anything out of Ranger. Yeah. Right. I was hoping I'd draw a four of a kind or five of a kind there or whatever. It three is. of a kind. <laughs> three of a kind, eight of a kind. It's hilarious. All right, mine. Uh huh. Let's. Pay one to create a seismic surge token. Pay him. Pay him. Pay that man his money. Oh, man. Why not? Why not? I'll pay two for st blue stonewall confidence. Go again. While it is in the arena, it's an aura. Cards I control will cost three or greater and get plus two armor while defending. At the beginning of my next phase, I destroy it. So next round, yeah. I get plus two. Tough to hit. Um, it's a good thing to do when I got five cards in hand. Yeah. Then That's I'll yours. pay three for a blue cartilage crush. It's just a five damage attack. If it deals four or more, your first action during your next turn costs an additional resource. It's going to do four or more to do that? Yeah. You don't have any funny money over there? No funny money, no cards in hand. You block for two, you avoid the effect. Hmm. Okay. All right. We're going to block for two with rapid fire. You got it. Take three? Take it three. End of my turn. Okay. Yo, it's gaming. I'm torn on who to root for. I love Guardian. It's my second favorite to Kano, but I would also love to see Ranger win. Yeah, me too. Dysphoria saying you got to root for Zek, though. Which I think is a combination of Zach and Bravo. <laughs> I like Bach personally. Bach. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Mm hmm. Let's do rapid fire. Hello. Here's going to go again until end of turn. Uh -huh. I'll leave it here. Yeah, that's good. That's clever. I'll get my spring tuning before I do that. And I'm going to put this into Arsenal. Okay. Then, from the Arsenal, I go again, Pathing Helix. Four damage arrow. It hits, I can put something in the arsenal. You've got a good defensey defendy turn here too. Uh-huh. Oh, hold on. I'm supposed to do this. Okay. Okay. Uh I won't block from hand. Pass. Red sink below from Arsenal. You got it. I'll trigger the ability. Let's put this under. Draw a card. Okay. How many cards you got? Five? That was from Arsenal. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It blocks. Go again. Mm-hmm. Let's play... Ravenous Rabble. The top card. Minus X. X is the pitch value. Pitch value is two. Thought it was one. You can do your opt for that. Yeah, at least opt it out. Take a look. Still, still two. So a three with three. Gargan. Yeah, that's right. You can block like everything. I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. All three damage attack there. 
And it doesn't trigger a hit or anything? No. Just damage. I'll take three. Okay. You gotta know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Redliner. I'll end this arrow there. Four. There he is. We'd go again, technically. Yep. It would go back in my hand. And I'd have to find a way to put it back in, like the bullseye bracers. <laughs> I need to block four. <laughs> yeah. The moral of this story. Um, Sure. Let's block... With buckling blow blue. Oof. Cost three or more, so it's technically got a plus two defense, so I'm at five. Blocks. Go again. Any actions here? Nope. Any actions I need to do? Nope. All right. That goes away. Seismic surge triggers. The pay with arrows plan isn't working because I don't have anything to pay for. That's interesting. It is, isn't it? Yeah. But the... Now, you could use the Azalea ability to load still to the bottom. Like, get an arrow down, yeah. use your ability, flip into something generically good from Arsenal. I'm, I mean, I'm finding just mm -hmm. just right in the game that, like, the, the ability to chain out stuff and keep using the Arsenal a bunch of times in a turn is going well as That's a concept. Good. That's you good. know, like, it, I always yeah. have the ability to do things from Arsenal when I need to, which is nice. Yeah. It does seem like you're actually using it. Now it's just about honing it into. It's just about doing it well. Yes. <laughs> seismic Sarge. Sarge. Seismic Sarge. Seismic Sarge. Seismic Sarge. I it's very <laughs> funny. <laughs> All right. Soldier. I'm going to pay one here to create another seismic surge. Then. Uh, Where'd you get all this armor, man? You, you've taken, like, all of it right to the head. Yeah, I mean, I've used two, four, or five armor so far. Um, no wonder they were so good back then. Then I'll use Bravo's Dominate ability, and then I'll pay for Mangle. So it's minus one, so it only costs me three. Mangle is eight damage with Dominate. That's it? That's it. Chris Short is saying, I will never get over that Azalea Steven pop. Oh, right. I never know when that's coming up. Yeah, it's but it's funny. just there. Okay. So just a mingle, huh? With Dominic. Mysteria might be right. Okay. Another way to slice it would be Death Dealer instead of Redliner. Mm -hmm. Then you can always then pay, you can for, pay it. for it. It makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Although I really I like taking this one in the direction, like a, the opposite direction, mm -hmm. where it's, it's just super efficient. Arsenal tricks basically we'll see if it works sink below for four okay you cool with that yep i'm gonna trigger its ability take your casual four yeah just like slowly just losing um <laughs> we're setting up for that that death deal in red line him. though we're not <laughs> we're not doing that at all because <laughs> if you do that you're also getting zero cards out of their hand you see i understand how flesh and blood works <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, but that's where like the the non arrow arsenal attacks. It's like that's where your pressure is coming from, right? Yes, ideally. Okay, everybody, me. Yeah. Watch out for old seismic surge. <laughs> He's coming for you. <clears throat> Just going in the arsenal. All right. No funny business. Seismic Sarge triggers. That's going to be a thing. You got to make it. Uh, I'm actually not going to use it. It doesn't matter. What I am going to do, though, is pay nine for a blue towering titan. What's that thing? Being uh, a turn, you get plus next eight. Next turn, I get a plus eight. Yep. Yeah. Watch yourself. Hoping I draw into an attack. I hope you don't. Mm-hmm. I see how this works. I see how this works. 
Hmm. Death Dealer, does it also let you draw? Mm-hmm. It's under here. All right, skull bone. I think did I take this up? I don't think so. I think it was a two last round. I'm gonna go ahead and... It's a pitfall trap. Well, that's interesting. Should I leave that on top? I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Pro shrink made it for some arrowless ranger. How's it going so far? Uh. Proof of concept is going very interestingly. Yeah. There are arrows, but it's not bad. It's I'm low on arrows, water. high on everything else. Very cool to watch. <laughs> Jordan Hightower says we're not talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna use Azalea's ability. Mm -hmm. Fall on bottom. That comes in on top, I think. Face up. Does it? I think so. Yeah. Hmm, how about a dominate endless arrow? Who's laughing now? I think that's Azalea laughing. Mm. Outcast Haven, live dangerously. Okay. I've got so many things wanting to be in the arsenal right now. <laughs> so many things. It is. That is the challenge. All right, let's play Foresight with Fandel. Next attacks plus three. Okay. Hmm. That's gonna um, get beefy. Yeah. And this arrow is gonna come in for seven. With dominate. With dominate, yeah. Let me, I'm going to do this. I'm going to plunder on it. So draw a card if it hits as well. Nice. I'm just going to take it. All right. Seven. That's a good hand. It, I mean, it, I have this, right? Uh-huh. So I, I have to be able to make use of that. So draw a card for plunder run, mm -hmm. unless arrow goes back in hand. <laughs> You're like, yikes. <laughs> Terrified of the swing that's inbound. Yeah. And then... Why did Bravo take this arrow to the knee? <laughs> he could have stopped it, don't you see? <laughs> That'll happen. That'll happen. No go again. So, this is the big question. Okay. Throwing that into Arsenal. Just as your default action. As my end of turn, yeah. 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 All right, mine? Mm-hmm. Towering Titan triggers. It's going to put eight on the queue. <laughs> Let's see. Three, six, seven, five, six, seven. All right. Let's pay for Bravo's ability. Dominate. Uh, let's <clears throat> pay one to create another seismic surge token. I'll never get over Seismic Sarge. It's just not, not ever going to happen. Listen up, soldier. Uh, then I'll play Red Spinal Crush for five. What's the bad thing about that one? Uh, if it deals four or more damage to a hero, action cards, activated abilities, and attacks they control lose and cannot gain go again during so the next right. action. So we are a 17 damage dominate Spinal Crush. All right, three, and then react with a four. So I'll take 10, and then I'll opt one. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> Oop. Uh, let's see. Take 10, opt 1. Do I like that card? Uh... Yeah, sure, that's fine. I'll think about it later. <laughs> Swing. Okay, can't take, can't have go again. I don't even need it. I was just looking for the nine damage attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get that tunic. You already see some cats here after this? Yes. I think I'm feeling ninja. -y. Ninja. Then we'll get weird. 
with Runeblade and Wizard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting stuff here. Interesting stuff. You don't have a card in your arsenal, right? Nope. That's right. This was a slow ball turn. <laughs> when he swing for 17, that's a day's work. Uh-huh. Huh. I'll pass. Mm-hmm. Seismic surge triggers. <laughs> Give him the surge. <laughs> it's very funny to think about, honestly. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> this is funny. You ever feel like your Mage Master boots aren't doing anything? I took the potions out and they just went way down in value. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good play. I'll create another seismic surge token. I have two floating. Yeah, last ditch effort in there, awesome. That's bogus. What is that? This is the uh, Bravo Blues. I need two things. Blue resources and a three defense on the card. Yeah, and I have two rules. And I'll literally keep doing that, and if I end up in an end-game state, I can swing for the fences. Um, what is up, Tina Catalyst? Uh, watch your videos has made me getting into flesh and blood. Has made me get into flesh and blood. Open my first box tonight and got a rainbow foil tectonic plating. Thanks for the inspiration. Nice. It's fantastic. Welcome to the right party, here. man. Uh, I'll use Bravo's ability. We'll get some Dominate going. Why not? Why not? Right? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Why not? And doesn't hurt to ask. I'm going to play blue Cartilage Crush for two. So I have one floating resource, just in case you have anything behind trap door number two. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. Why is all my gear so weak? It's because I'm a ranger. I understand. <laughs> I know why. I'm totally you want to bet that Azalea gets crazy cards in this next set? I'd put a decent amount of money on it. You got a trap there. Pay one. Did it. Or don't. I mean, this one really doesn't matter. The, the hit effects don't matter too much. I'll take one. Mm -hmm. Any other shenanigans? Nope. I'll just put a card in arsenal. Okay. Let that last ditch effort go right to the bottom. Honey Dog uh, asking if, if uh, Catalyst found boxes at reasonable prices. So we're expecting waves of Unlimited to start hitting in February. Um, so hop on the waitlist on the website, and hopefully you can get some boxes at reasonable prices. Take him. Next Ranger attacks plus two reload. Wait. Okay. Reloading here. Huh. Okay. Ram and travel for five minus one four. Okay, I will not block from hand. You get first reaction. None. Red sink below. Classic. Trigger it. An absolute classic. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave this here just because we we know so we it can might. remember. We, we know it might happen. Promise to play. From Arsenal? Has go again. Three damage. If it hits, I get a card in the Arsenal. Well, I don't like that.
Should just let it hit. There is that option. I don't disagree with you. Uh, uh, I mean, I gotta block it. No. One of those turns. Nathan Lewis, that's insane. LGS was selling Crucible blocks for $550. Please don't buy them. I mean, they'll be here. I mean, they'll, they'll be here, right? Or we don't know never... if Crucible's coming. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have singles coming. Singles. We got a ton of singles coming. You can probably buy $550 worth of singles. You can always get the whole set. Block for three. It's not true, obviously, but. Oh, uh, you did it. Okay. Go again. Amon saying, what solo guys would you recommend? Uh, Arkham and Champions immediately come to mind. But another one, I played the Sky Tear solo while you were gone. Yeah, it's good. I've been thinking about that. Mm -mm. I, you need to play it at some point. I don't need to just watch. Redline is going to put I'll, Ridge Rider I'll into the arsenal. joke the whole time. I, I do like the commentary as things get weird. Especially with like the nice mic. Yeah. Like someone can really just get the nice Ridge Rider shot. I can look at this. I know what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to use Azalea. Dominate. Searing shot for six. If it hits, you lose one. Take it. Take six. Plus one. Minus one. Or plus one. Yeah. Okay. Mine. Back at me. I'm going to do a really crazy turn. Woo! You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Swing with my hammer for four. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Ass? Reactions, I'll do a take cover. Mm -hmm. Block for four with reload. You got it. Um, this is the question. Hmm. Into that. All right, my go. Mm -hmm. Do your worst, Acha. <laughs> ah, weird ideas. Weird ideas. Wow, Nathan says he bought the last 20 packs from an LGS yesterday and got Tunic. Woof! Wow. Was it cold foil or rainbow foil? Hmm. Boy, that's a strange one. Promise of plenty. For three? Mm-hmm. If it hits... I guess I could look at the top of the die. I mean, beforehand with a skull bomb. Yeah, we'll cross wrap it. <laughs> Honey dog, crucible box or pay rent? Hmm. hmm. I'm going to leave it. Promise of plenty. Let's go. The real question I had for Ryan Roper earlier saying he'd trade me a helm is if he bought it from us for like $3. He probably did. <laughs> <laughs> he, oh, of course he did. What have I done? Of course he did. All right, you're swinging for three? Oh, wait. I didn't need to opt that out. I forget it's from the deck. Yes. Come on, says, congrats on yesterday. Are you glad you tried it one last time? I think Steven's just glad it's over. I had a great time. I did, too. <clears throat> Doctors in the house. I'll Promise. Take, I'll take three. Really? Yeah. I'm setting up for the coup de gras, you know? Well, you're giving me a free card in the arsenal there. Go for it. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Ryan says he doesn't think he bought a helm from us, but he does think he got it in one of the boxes he bought. So, you know, shouldn't have sold him a box. In hindsight, we should have kept all our boxes. Probably. That on them. Probably. Just kidding. I'm glad that we we got those a lot this of people. already used. Okay, okay. Let's think about this. Wow, Alex Becker opened a pack of Crucible on Sunday. 
Got two Courage of Blade Holds. One of them was Cold Foil, one was not. That's a good pack. <laughs> it's like a six, seven hundred dollar pack. A swoosh. swoosh. <laughs> Man, weird turn. I'm going to play Take Aim. And then I'm not going to do anything else. Just getting rid of it? If you can believe it, yeah. Okay. Well, my turn is going to be weird, too. You ready? Mm-hmm. Let's play a Blue Towering Titan for nine. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's resources. They go back. Okay, well, here you are. Huh. We got ourselves a little bit of a... I'm really liking my, my Bravo Blues. Yeah, right just now. smoking. Got a really strange... I'm not that far ahead right now. Strange turn here. It's still very losable. Oh, you know it. All right. I'm going to use the tunic to play three of a kind. I don't have the tome, though. Don't you might. I you know. Only play cards from the arsenal. Josh Trevino says, I love walking on and immediately hearing Steven say, weird turn. It's like coming home. I can always count on Steven to have a weird turn. <laughs> That's so true. Uh, it's because of the decks he builds. I didn't build this. We built it. I take no responsibility. All right. all the I'm going to show you the fact that I have take cover in there. Okay. So that I can opt this. Okay. And I can only play cards from my arsenal. Let me set that there for a second. Hmm. I can take a chance. I'm rolling the dice. I'm rolling the dice. <laughs> I hate to get rid of this. Uh huh. Was it Zelia? So much. Yeah. Sometimes. No, you know what? No, I'm doing this. Best thing about this is once we're done, we just get to play again. Xavier's <laughs> ability. Mm hmm. Dropping a plunder run in. I also can't wait for you to see what I put in my cat's deck. It's hilarious. Plunder run from Arsenal. Uh-huh. Draw a card, plus three. Go again. Draw a card of your next tech hits. Yeah. And it right. gets plus three. Tell you. Then we'll do... Load them up. <laughs> Red liner. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Not in a rush. This. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. 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 Interesting, actually. Do you know that? So if it's a... Ha-ha! And then... Ah... Huh. I don't have the next piece. I need the final, I need like the final, you know, like. Huh. You might draw it with a little plunder run. For this to make sense. That's true. <laughs> hmm. There it is. If there's hope to be found, I will find it. Yes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so here's what we'll do. This is actually this is a good idea. Redliner. I think that this is actually a good idea as compared to the rest of them. Oh no! Wait! No, wait! I can't play. I can only play from Arsenal this turn. So that that's that's less less exciting. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
I gotta have that go again arrow. All right, here comes here, put some pressure on here. Destroying these perch grapplers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh huh. You have to pay for that or something? Yeah, too. I've got to find it here. Which are the <laughs> arrows I don't like? Just gotta find it. Just gotta find the yellow it. one. I don't have a yellow arrow here. Well, that's a bummer. Yeah. All right, two of these. Do you have any counters on tunic? No, I just used it mm. to play that three of a kind like seven turns ago, mm. but it was this mm. turn actually. Yeah, I'm with you. All right, arrows have go again. Red liner. Searing shot. Boom. For seven. If it hits, it's eight. And a draw card. Problem, dude. You're going to weirdly be close. What's that supposed to mean? I was so far ahead for so long. Oh, come on. It was all playing into... See, I drew like seven arrows like we played in the end game. And now I'm a pew-pewing. And you, I mean, it's <laughs> not necessarily not playing out. <laughs> so it's seven, eight, draw a card. Yeah, I'll take it. Eight. Take an eight. Taking eight. Let's go again. You're ahead. Draw a card. You're ahead by a hell. After all this. All my work. All my precious work. It's for a bullseye. No cards in Marshall. Put an arrow card. Face up. Gains plus one until end of turn. Nice. Searing shot. You pay for that? Slap. Didn't have a cost. This thing? Nice. Five coming at you. Six if you don't block. Oh my goodness. Get out of town. I'll take it. Hmm. Am I good? Hmm. Hmm. Now, hold, on, hand. hold on a second. Hold on hand. a second. Hold on a second. What's the chance I have a padding helix in the top three there? I can tell you the odds. Let me just look at him. I'm not going to let you do nothing. <laughs> Let me just look at him. Come on. That's not how this works. Let me look at him. Okay. You're taking six? Mm-hmm. Down to six health. All right. You're so close. I know. Yeah, but you're like, I've got a 20, 20 damage attack. I mean, that's why I'm taking a beat in here. I'm just ready. All right, put that in Arsenal. And I'm going to draw to you. Thank you, Nerdling. Oh my gosh, it was the top card. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine? So if this one hits, I get another arrow in, and I launch another arrow. So that's pretty good. Could have taken a chance. I just didn't believe in myself. It's the source of all of life's problems. Agreed. Mine? Yeah. <laughs> Prepare to die. <laughs> my name is Inigo Montoya. <laughs> you killed my father. Uh, let's just put a plus eight here. Okay. Let's see you wiggle. I'll pay two for Bravo's ability. Dominate. Mm -hmm. It's just so creative. I'll pay seven. No, before I do that. I'll pay one for a token. And then I'll pay seven. With two floating. For an 18 strength yellow righteous cleansing with dominate. What happens if I lose? If it deals four or more, I get to look at the top five cards of your deck. I can banish one or more cards with the same name from among them. So I literally one name of card I can banish. And then I put the rest back in the order I want. But my draws. Okay, so... Uh, how much is it? 18? Mm -hmm. And I've got 13 left? Mm-hmm. This is not a problem. Not a problem. It's not a problem, man. Uh, All right, I'm going to mm -hmm. drop three in. Reactions? You got any funny business? Oh, I'm going to do these as well, I think. I guess what I really should have done... Is it time to blow these up? What I really should have done, instead of creating this, is paid three. Destroyed this. My crush attacks get plus two this turn. Do it. No, that's fine. Do it. That's fine. Come on, do it. It's how I learn. Um... Blocker for three. I don't think I'm going to get another three Adventure Coast. <laughs> Same. You just got sent to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. What's up? Blocking for three from your hand. You I got think two I'm, I'm, I'm going to blow these up. I'm tired yeah. of them. Yeah, you got to. Tired of them. Three, four, five. Here comes a tripwire trap. Nine. Pay me a money or nothing. Whatever. Pay it. All right. Nine minus what? 18? So that's nine? Yep. Yep. 
Welcome to nine. Did I do that right? <laughs> well, you were at 13 minus nine. You should be at four. <laughs> I had one of them, right? That's very creative math. <laughs> you know, my math is like oh, my deck building. Oh, my goodness. So good. <laughs> so good. So, so good. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Okay. And then I get a look at the top five cards of your deck. I won't be needing those. Banish, so you have to have things that are the same name to banish anything? No. So it says, uh, <laughs> banish one or more cards with the same name from among them. Okay. So I can pick a card to banish. Okay. Uh, but if there were two of a single card, then I could banish... All of it. All of it. If you happen to snipe all of the mm. pathing helix, for instance, you can banish them all. Do I get to see? I get to see my banished cards there, right? Yeah. I'm gonna banish a Tome of Pain, though. Oh well, that was good timing. So I don't get that card. No. Uh, the, if there's a proxy in there, it's a Tome. The card there's, back. There's not. Okay. Good. That, I have one more in there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's actually really powerful getting to stack your opponent's deck <laughs> against them. Yeah, it's really quite annoying. If that's what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is actually exactly what I'm talking about. Dude, what'd you give me? What do you mean? What'd you give me? Well, you'll see. All right, I'm going to play <laughs> Take Aim, mm -hmm. Reload. That's such a good card. Oh, it's so good. It's the card of cards. Wait a minute. Wait a minute? Wait just a minute. Now you would never have given me anything good here. All your gear is gone. It's really great. Look how close this game is still. It's amazing. All right, here comes a fervent forerunner. If it hits top two, it has to go again, currently. For three? Block for three. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 So this is my arsenal. Okay. Now you get to see what I gave you and in the <laughs> order I gave it to you. Tasty cards. Yeah. I like these cards. Yeah. I basically gave you a defense reaction you couldn't use on offense. And then if, uh, the one that's minus for pitch, followed by two yellows. Yeah, it's just hard uh, when I have all these good cards in my deck. Take a turn off, maybe? I just, if I take a turn off, I finish you the next round. Hmm. But I have to survive yeah, that. Good luck proving it, right? If I generate a token... Play that for two, put a card in Arsenal. That's probably right. All right. Generate seismic surge token. I have two floating. Pay, play a blue cartilage crush for two. That's five. And if it deals four more damage, your first action during your next round costs additional resource. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, well, well. All right, let's block with four there. The whites. Okay, take one. Mm-hmm. And then I'll put this in Arsenal for the center of my deck. All right, let's do a little blind Azalea. All right. This is why we came to the party. 
No, maybe not. Not yet. Maybe I play this. I don't know what I'm doing. Ravenous Travel. Five. With a Tome of Fando. Yellow. So that's a what? Three? Three. What is that, an action? Huh. Interesting. Just, uh, you know, don't block it. There it is. Just don't block it. Um... I'll walk with both these pieces of armor. Okay. Take one. Ooh. Living dangerously. Yep. Here's my triple razor reflex. Good I right, have go again. Now things are interesting for old Steven. So interesting. Ryan Roper How? says he made us a present and put it on our Discord. I'll check that out. Is there even a way? Hmm. Now that's just interesting. I mean, at this point, it's probably right, but I also love this card. Hmm. That's getting awfully thin. And it's getting weird. <laughs> House of Mysterious saying, wait, there's a team coming at Discord. There sure is. I'm going to paste it in the chat real quick. The link. I had that from earlier. Someone asked before we got before we went live. You know what? I think I have to take a chance or just lose. Azalea, bottom. Take a chance on you don't know what's on the top here. I know it's a Fandels. Play Fandels. Mm. Draw two cards. Gain two health. Hey, that's not awful. Hope for the best. One in the arsenal. Over to you. Yeah. Seismic Surge triggers. Proud we are of all of them. <laughs> I get it. It always gets so scary at the end. It does get... Why am I so scared all Boy. the time? <laughs> it's a real head-scratcher of game sometimes. All right. I'm going to use Bravo's ability. Mm, real... Uh... Dominate. <laughs> I will pay one. Is there another Seismic Surge token? Name song different Seismic words. Sarge is in the seismic barracks. Seismic Sarge! <laughs> Um, then I'll pay five for a blue cranial crush. I have one floating. Just in case there's a trap. Just in case. With dominate, eight with dominate. If cranial crush deals four or more damage to a hero, they cannot draw cards during their next activation, not at the end when you would draw back up, but during a turn you can't draw Like with cards. the three of a kind. Three of a kind, Fandel's tunic, or Fandel's uh, tome, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you know. I like with three of a kind. Son of a... Uh... <laughs> All right, well, I'll block with it. We, we... <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. He had the big turn set up, and I just took it away. All right, and then uh, we'll do a sink below. So I'll take two, put one under. But which one? 
Uh, if mind. you're gonna block for with something, you can still play that card. True, as long as you don't take four. But then I've got this whole like, I and in fact I should do that. Yeah, because then yeah. you get to draw three and play from Arsenal and stuff. One hundred percent. Um, so let's block with this one instead. I agree with your decision. No oh, thanks. And then sink below becomes. So that's where it's a really good question, actually. I'm not sink belowing anything. All right. Leave it. Let it lie. Now, remember, <laughs> I put all of my arrows down here. I, I think, by the way, I just need to pull this up. Someone uh, is saying that they need to grab this card for the pops. But I think some, Ryan created Seismic Sarge. I just need to see it. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> Uh, it's too good. I hope this is what it is. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Well, now, hold on a second. Look at this guy. <laughs> the toy <laughs> soldier. Oh, my God. That's great. Too good. Thank you, Ryan. Now, I'm not sure. Hold on. This, this, plan, this plan went sideways. Give me a second to actually look at this plan. Jordan Hightower saying the screenshot of this card is going to be worth $300 soon. And uh, what's the like? What's the name of that fake stock market? The meme stock market is that what it was? Like people like have invest in memes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Seems like a Jonathan thing. No, because the problem is I can't play three of a kind. I suppose I can. Dang, weird man. Hold on a second. Man. Man. So I've played three of a kind, and I can't play that. I could hit the goods here, maybe. It's kind of crazy, because you can play non-three of a kind cards first if they have Gogan. Yeah. But I can only play one of them, because the other one needs to generate the money to play three of a kind. Mm. You get me? Mm -hmm. If I hadn't gotten rid of fan dolls, I'd be at two health, and I'd have money. Idiot. Okay, so this is what you do. How many cards? You got all your. You got all the cards in. in there. Uh, yeah, Ryan. Toy Story is one of my favorite I'm movies, so this. that's on the money. Black and will promise of plenty. Black I thought I, I thought I would actually get to play this card, but I realize now that there's no way to play it and also play three of a kind, so uh -huh. I have to drop it. All right, you're good. So now we play. Rapid fire. End of the turn, arrows can't go again, and we can reload. But there's really no reason to do it. Because then I play three of a kind, generate two money. One money left over, draw three. Uh, but you can play rapid fire from your hand beforehand. That's right. So at least if I draw like three arrows. Which would be the goal of the. Oh, yeah, I think you put that on the wrong stack. You put, it's just the upside down card. Sure they they go to your deck. Right. That's my deck? Yeah, stop it. Sure, I didn't just draw out of my discard pile? So that's the cards you draw. Oh, these are garbage. Great. <laughs> <laughs> but in a deck where you had stacked the bottom <laughs> of your deck, this would be an ideal moment, though, right? Kind of. I mean, you I... probably have three zero cost errors you could just But I could right. only play one with red liner. Mm. The end. So it's a fundamental problem. Okay, so there are no arrows here. Therefore. Well, can't you redliner? Oh, yeah, redliner only puts arrows in. I get it. Sure. So you got to put that down and uh, pass it over. All right, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> I'm sure this will be just fine. All right, seismic <laughs> surge triggers. Here comes seismic surge. <clears throat> I think it's similar either way, but one's way more annoying. That's a good question, Hasa Mysteria. All right. Create a seismic surge. Uh, play crippling crush. No, Bravo's ability. Dominate crippling crush. Eleven would dominate. Okay. Three. Pitfall trap. Three more. That's all I can do. But you're gonna take two. Wow. Woo! And okay. then you get hammer timed. There's, so there's so much potential here. It's crazy. 
Yeah. I got potentially different area codes on this one. It it definitely feels like so my deck felt way better. Yeah, you were you time. were swinging like a boss. Yeah, there. Think, things that I note about my deck, I, I blue pummel's fine. I feel like sometimes I might get to use it, but I was never using it. Um, like I I, I consistently between the seismic surge. Um, yeah, I was in arsenal ring and dominate. Like I consistently had the ability to play the big attack with dominate. Yep. And then whenever I did draw uh, Towering Titan, I actually could play it. So previously I had yellow Towering Titans in, but and I had more yellows in. So then, but the yellows would always mean I couldn't play Towering Titan even when I drew it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I essentially have a spread of reds and yellows, two of each of these. I think there is. Uh, where's that? Where's the yellow? I have two of each of these, and it's like basically, I either want to play Towering Titan blue. Mm -hmm. into whatever attack with Dominate. Or I have enough resources to play one of these with Dominate and put a card in Arsenal and defend with something typically. Yeah. So the math was really good. I was consistently doing that. It was a good curve. Yeah. And then you like... had the, all the tools. The, the turns where I took damage from you, I didn't have to. But like you did a really good job of timing your biggest damage on my Towering Titans. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, really, I didn't want to block, yeah. I really would rather not take this. And I was far enough ahead that I was like, fine taking a punch. But like, even still, you got me back down. Like, I was like 20 health ahead. Yeah, it worked out. So I mean, there were it, turns where you weren't really doing anything, but then there were turns where you were really shining. Yeah, there's some good turns there. The That turn that you banished, Tome, was such a bummer. Because I had three of a kind in hand, and I was like, I know there's two left in there. Yeah. Uh, so one was that on top been, of your deck, by the way. That would have been a really nice heal turn. Yeah. But you just gain nine and have a stacked hand. Any so any in this deck, anything. I'm finding that anything that has a cost to it is just difficult. Yeah, because you don't really have resources to. Because the thing about it is, obviously, the most efficient card is a blue. Right. Because you get rid of one card, you can pay for three things. But you don't ever have more than like one thing you want to pay for. But like spending a red on a a one cost something is hard. Well, it's really tough because you've you're gonna have to play a card just to get the reload. So your minus one card to be able to play a card, and then to play that card if it has a cost is another card. So it's three cards to play the one because you mm -hmm. got to get it in and then you got to mm -hmm. shoot it out. So like the one cost arrows are really tough until you have your every third turn tunic. But yeah, so, so you can have some ones. And you want to hit them when you have that ready. And it might just be tomes and three of a kinds. Sure. But then on the turns where you want to hit both of those, you don't have the money to easily hit both Tome and Three of a Kind. Well, as long as you can pay for one of them here, dropping a red for one of those cards. Yeah, it's one less life, though. Yeah, but like you still gain eight and have an eight-card hand. Yeah. It's pretty good. Theoretically. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the other thing was like it being able to drop some of these effects into the arsenal directly... And then use them that turn, like that got really good. Yeah. I was a huge fan of that. So what what do you think needs to change? Well, the tough thing was actually the traps. So like mm -hmm. the they get stuck. Well, there's just so much competition, right? Between the arrows and the arsenal cards that are buffing other cards and then the actual attacks from the arsenal and then also trying to end with a reaction. It was like, oh, that's a lot. So that was tough because they were essentially acting like most of the time as dead cards on my hand. I almost feel like you would have to play either the traps or the standard defense reactions. Yeah, I think the traps are better in uh, in like a death dealer deck where they, at least if you missed your turn where you could put them in the arsenal, you draw up and it's like, oh, well, there's a trap. I can't play it on their turn and I can't play it on my turn. So I'm going to ditch it, gain some money and shoot some stuff. Mm -hmm. But in like a red liner deck, I don't think the traps make sense. Makes and sense. it's making me feel like Redliner really just wants to not stop. It's like a ninja not stop attacking just thing. All along. But early on, you're basically using the non-arrows mostly. Yeah, and even throughout the game, I feel like a combination of pressure from just your basic cards. So you reload into some of these easy go-again attacks, and then by the time they've either not blocked those and taken some damage, that's good, or they have blocked him, and then it's like, maybe now you shoot that Dominate Arrow at the end. Yeah. And that's where there are some some effects that do cost one, 
So maybe, you know, you, you got to figure out the curve on this, but having that last attack after you've kind of done the dancing around is pretty yeah. pretty strong. I feel like you definitely... Your slots were competing for Arsenal that weren't arrows, which was good. Yeah. But, like, you were consistently getting to play the arrows you wanted. And I also... Without being overloaded with arrows. Because the yeah, other no, problem was, right. was when you have was... a bunch of arrows and then you can't get them into Arsenal... At least with this, the other cards, you can always just play them. I, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I always had options there. Um, it definitely feels like the kind of deck that is wanting, like, a Razor Reflex. Because you have all these piddly attacks that you can launch. And it's like, okay, they, you know, blocked for two or three or whatever. And then it's like, well, plus three go again? Or just plus three straight up? When you have so many, I, it feels kind of like a mix between Warrior and Ninja. It's like when you have so many opportunities to catch them without a reaction, mm -hmm. you may as well be able to do something with it. Sure. Because if you can always just block with one card for that three, it's less good than if I'm always threatening, like, what if this could be worse? <sighs> yeah. So there's something here. I know that there's something here. I'm very excited to explore it, honestly. Hmm. But not necessarily right now. And do you even, I mean, Three of a Kind almost feels like an essential card that, like, running it well is kind of how you know you're you're playing the good Azalea. Yeah, because three cards is so crazy. Yeah. If you can turn into the arsenal in exciting ways. Because your best turn, you're probably going to play Three of a Kind, start out with something in the arsenal, and then you're going to attack with it, you're going to redline or something in, maybe Azalea that, attack with it, then you're going to bullseye, attack with it. So you get three attacks probably on a three of a kind turn if you're doing it right. Maybe four, but it's only like two of those turns because it's set off by the gear. Mm -hmm. Purge Grapplers is one turn, bullseye is probably one turn, and that's your game. So I think those turns have to hit Yeah. hard. Yeah, it's, it's tough. I just don't know if they, they can or do. That is the grand question. Uh, all right, what are you what are you on, House of Mysteria? I want to see this. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah, House wasn't one to reveal too much until he saw you play. Uh, yeah. Reinforce the line. Oh, yeah, that's that's cool. That way, it's still uh, for one to type. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you have another suggestion, House of Mysteria? Anything that you thought would be uh, good? On that, I, I honestly, it, it, so honestly, well, it's hard not to be overly teched against Bravo, right? So that entire game was twisting a perception of like, oh, hold on, I'll zoom out. The perception of like, there's one big attack, and I, I get one, maybe two cards if I have something in Arsenal. So like, I don't want to tech fully for that, but I feel like maybe a yellow take cover being added would be pretty useful because you can play it at any time. It doesn't have to be from Arsenal. It's way more versatile than a trap, and it gets you a very critical reload. And against a dominate deck, it allows you to potentially block with two, three, if you get super lucky, four cards in a turn, um, which is fantastic. So... We need we need like a we need like a coup de gras in this deck. Like a big the big moment that you're you're playing for. So I feel like it can it can tempo nicely. But there's something that needs to happen with this. Secrets. Yeah, Ryan, I did take cover into a trap the other day and it was glorious. I don't know. There's something here. It re so much of it is about if you're gonna go wide. Like so much of it is about is about continuously drawing cards. So wide is tough because you have to you have to draw cards and you have to have go again, which is not terrible because you've got three of a kind. 
you got Plunder Run. You've even got Tome as long as you have extra action points to spare. So that makes me think. And Promise of Plenty gets wild on some of these turns. Is there anything that gives you a bonus to each of your attacks that turn? I think that would be busted, wouldn't it? What do you guys got? Yeah, Nimbleism is a, is a good one to work on. What I miss? Maybe I do just want energy potions. Oh man, I'm just just thinking about like kind of the fundamentals of, you know, if you're going to launch a bunch of attacks, you've got to draw cards and have go again. And the reality is that you have, you know, a card draw cards in here. You've got three tones. You've got three three of kinds. Yeah, six is a lot of card draw. You got plan to run. You've got essentially promise of plenty, which is kind of drawing a card if it hits. Especially for Azalea. Yeah. But do you have the go again? We have three rapid fire. You got three rapid fire. You have two pieces of equipment, technically. Yep. And then you really need like one more card. I feel like you need like time snaps, honestly. I feel like mm. that would I feel like that would open up some turns that would otherwise because a lot of times you just want to play that reaction into the arsenal and then you want to play that time snap potion like yeah. that's you know that's your turn and then you can like time snap tome draw two heal and then still do your stuff right yeah that's really interesting yeah or like you can play out a turn and then have that spare action point go with um three of a kind with go again and then start doing the arrows after you've already done like all of your exciting stuff. That might be the right thing. So I, I, I yeah, I feel like uh, probably lead the charge and time snap get interesting again. Lead mm. the charge is zero cost or something. Yeah. The thing about like red lead the charge is not only is it zero cost, but if you play a go again arrow into it, you get two actions afterwards. That's right. So like that's heavy action economy. And is it action cards? Your next action card or something? What does lead the charge say? So, gain one action point. Red is any basically zero or more. Yellow is one or more. Blue is two or more. So the next card you play that matches that requirement gains you an action point. Right on. So if you play something with go again, go again gets you an action point, and lead the charge gets you an action point. That that makes a lot of sense too because you've got cards like Promise of Plenty, zero cost go again, Ravenous Rabble, zero cost go again. For forerunners, zero cost go again. Yeah, that, that that does open up some turns. Yeah, if you have a decent number of go agains, redly the charge is pretty good. Um, yeah, the next time you play an action card with a zero cost or greater this turn, gain an action point. Yeah. So. Yeah. That can be super good. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna I'll probably drop the traps. I might add mm -hmm. um, yellow take cover. The that's a zero reload, for three reload. reload. Yeah, it it's. It's always good, and you don't have to have it. The traps having to be played from Arsenal is really tough. I don't think the impact is yeah, quite it, there. It's really tough to finagle that in. Yeah. And then add a little bit more going wide tech, and then probably well, start to... a great example out. of that. Mm -hmm. Let's look at what the finishing move is, ultimately. Because the And the other thing is, you need a touch more reload. Mm -hmm. Which is why yeah, I think a little the, bit more, the yeah. thing you were talking about makes sense. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, that's really interesting. And then eventually, uh, knock the death death whistle gets in there, right? <laughs> that's Maybe. your that's your finisher, right? I there. mean, reload, go again, and get the arrow on top. Like of at the end of the chain, if you do knock and then that's something, that's really hard to deny. I know you got to do it. Eventually, you got to do it, of course. But. Mm hmm. That also pays for your. Uh, Tome, three of a kind turn if you happen to want it. If you need to cash it in for an extra health. You won't, but. Oh, with the three? Just I mean, if little... you had knock death whistle, tome, and three of a kind, you're going to take all the cards, and then you're going to have a giant turn and end it with this, and you're going to do a big dominate arrow of some kind. Mm -hmm. Or, or That's figure, the idea, right? figure it out, yeah, mm -hmm. figure out how to do it. I think that makes a lot of sense. Does, this doesn't, it doesn't. 
just reveal it, put it on the top of your deck. Yeah, reload, so then you can Azalea ability into a Dominate Arrow. Yeah. Uh, Yotes saying, I feel like Enlighten Strike is an auto-include for Ranger. That's a zero for five? Yeah, and what you you put a card on the bottom to play it, mm -hmm. and then zero five, and you choose one buff. Either plus two, go again, or something else. Read the tiny. That's right here. We got four setting here, right? Uh, yeah, we've got Ravenous in right now. Either draw a card, plus two, or go again. Okay. I mean, Z, it's basically, in this deck, it's essentially a one for five attack that draws a card, or it's a one for seven attack, or it's a one for five to go again. Mm -hmm. That That's pretty much always good, and the art's incredible. It's, it's always a good card. There's yeah. no doubt about that. You can't hate that. Now, Back Alley Break Line is interesting again, because it gives you an action point. Mm-hmm. This is in your short stack, right? Yeah, it's a gross card, though. Gross looking. Yeah, I don't I mean, know what's happening. Does that have to hit? No, it, no, it, it was put into your arsenal face out. So it's just the one for five with go again. Or if the effect that's put in it into your arsenal doesn't cost you an action, then it gives you two actions to do whatever you want with. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't use it that turn, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 it's true. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this and look at it later on. Yeah. Do we want to do anything else? Do you want to try an arcane something or other? Do you want to play arcane versus arcane? <laughs> we can do whatever. You play, oh, you want to do uh, ninja? I'll play ninja. Or you want to change that at all? Uh, we'll make some quick tweaks. Sure. If you want to do ninja versus the, we'll save the dark arts for next week. That's right. So, um, what was the? Take aim was the card you were talking about. I think uh, take cover. I think yellow take cover is worth having. It wasn't take aim. I have yellow and red take aim in currently. Got you. It's the take cover, the one that lets you uh, juke, jive, and I like all of these cards. Right up, or what about Art of War? Yeah, we tried that. Uh, what's on your short list? Lead the charge, knock. Oh, the Ranger card. What did you say? Take what? Cover? Take cover, yeah. And what color? Yellow. It was all yellow. Yellow. Okay, and then I need the last trap out of here. Trap, 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 trap. There it is. Okay, then we've got draw, draw, draw. We were thinking about time snaps. There goes here. You also think about really lead the charge, which is in that same vein. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do red lead the charge. I think that makes a lot of sense. Definite. You're going to love that card. I'm actually dropping. Lead the charge the and uh, plan to run were two of my early favorites. Is there anything that allows you to draw every time you hit? Wouldn't that be awesome? Every time? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think that exists. Lead the charge. I'm going to do these take covers. And then I've got three slots left. I cut Foresight and put in all the traps. So you could do like knock, two knocks on like one insane arrow, like a big arrow. Red and the ledger or something. Yeah, so like, you know, you pitch it early if you see it, and then you go get it. Eventually you can go get it if you need to. I mean, you can also go low count on knock. Because you don't necessarily, yeah, like even one or two. Same with time snap. It's like you don't you don't necessarily need two time snap potions out, but you need to have that when you don't draw the card you need for go again. Why don't we actually do? Let's do three enlightened strikes. Next love. Let's start there, and then let's just see how the tempo plays out. 
And then it'll probably be, you know, it'll be X damage short most of the time. And then you'll, I mean, you're not going to regret a line strike. No, nah, probably um, not. I don't think that is the case. Those are your three. Take right. good care. Let's look at that. We each have three. And then we might be ready to start teching. Frank, Frank wants to know how many uh, arrows do you have in the deck? I think this is 12 to 15 currently. All right. You ready to get kadachied? And I probably need, I probably need at least, I probably need three more arrows. Three total? I think three more. Like three cards or like three different arrows? Th like three different arrows. Yeah, if you're playing knock, I feel like that's where you could run three one ofs of like Red in the Ledger, kind of like this is a specific moment card. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go, I think, I think I'm going to go three more arrows over Ravenous. Ravenous was less exciting. Although zero for four with go again is not terrible, you know. It's not awful. It's not awful. Any other errors that I missed? Where's that? You got that ranger mm -hmm. finder? It's never far away. Thanks. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I'd probably go ahead and roll in on, on headshot. Do a little finale. Mm -hmm. Salvage might ultimately be. It's probably Sikkim. Yeah. It must be. Okay. One for four, go again. Even ravenous in at this point. Where's the cut? Isn't that the question? Yeah, I think Red and Ledger will get there eventually. We just gotta. It'll probably be like knock plus Red and Ledger or knock plus Remorseless. Yeah. I mean, those are both. Knock lets you run so many moment pieces. Yeah. Those moment pieces. Okay. Now I need... This uh, Heart and Cross Trap is actually a Fandel Spring Tunic. Good luck proving it. I got robbed. This has been a murder. Gotta find one more. One more cut. And you know, it's hard to find one. That's a good sign. You can put run 61. That's a good sign. Yeah, gross. 63. We're talking like that. It's disgusting. Frank saying, what kind of ninja deck will you play? Well, that's a surprise for everyone, including <laughs> Steven. I love the different, like, basically card trees that are available in Ninja. Am I going for the head? Am I going for the feet? Am I going for the soul? <laughs> I'll let you decide. It's the soul. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. 
I can't make any cuts. My babies. Ah. Only now do I realize how mistitled the video was. What did you say it was? I got your your part right. The uh, ranger, rain, airless ranger concept. But then I mentioned something about wizards and rune blades. Oh yeah. Well, you know, you never know. The tease for next week. You never know where these streams are gonna go. I think I can. I think I can put some things together here. Okay, this can go. This can go. This can go. Let's do three additional. Play with some sickum shots. See how sick. Plays. Sick. Hmm. Reduce just just to do it. Here's what we're gonna do. Mm-hmm. Do a sickum shot. We're gonna do Actually, no, I've got a better plan. James, Rumblade and Wizard will show up next week. I promise that. So that I really dig the martial classes more. Isn't that crazy? Not surprising. No, it's really not, is it? Huh, I didn't get scared of the battlescape in here. Mm -hmm. Raise reflex is the go again option. I know it really is, isn't it? It's the surprise go again. Yeah, I think it's got to be. James, you can't hold me to it. I got the next belt. They're sitting here. <laughs> Look at these fine decks, and I'm very excited about them both. All right, I think we're there. Yeah. All right, let's try this. This is going to be weird. You ready to get kadachied? Yes. I have every intention of getting rocked. All right, let's set it up. You were oh, close. I nailed it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this here heart and cross strap is a Fandel spring tunic in disguise. Just so you all remember that. Let's put it in here. Man, I might not. Is there a better? Uh, I know it's funny to ask. Is there a better head piece? Am I crazy? To think about it. It's hard to imagine. I could only. A built-in off one with an arcane barrier is pretty solid. Yes, I agree with that. But. I am gonna. I'm just gonna confuse you. Just need a little more heat here. All right. Headshots are in there. Even Steven. Even Steven. It's odd. Mm hmm. Odd for Zod. <laughs> well, those need to go to the bottom of my deck. <laughs> Bottom three. Mm hmm. Okay. What up, Ganshi? It's classic constructed. All right. So you got what? Well, you got double Kadachi Katsu. Is that the second? No, that's the combo guy. Mm -hmm. And then you got a tunic. Mask of Momentum is probably something... If I hit three in a row, I get to draw a card. And then you get an attack reaction at plus one once. Mm -hmm. It's cool. One armor so and then tight, a plus yeah. one once. And then Snapdragons. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
What's he gonna do? What you gonna do? Nothing. Oh, I'm gonna do something. I'm just waiting for your shovel. Oh, yeah? Well, I gotta shuffle well. Nothing worse than, like, rushing the shuffle. You gotta lean in. Lean in, lean out. Before we're done with it, you're gonna be really good with that old ranger. Yeah, yeah, it's got my attention for sure. I think you're, yeah, it's on the, it's on the cusp. It's, yeah, it's the kind of thing, it's just like, okay, you, you just know, you know, I mean, you know no, when there's a There's a way a to play it. You know when there's a spark. That's good enough. Yeah. It's right in the Steven pocket. All right, you ready? Can I take my die? No. There's a couple over here. That's fine. I think you like the blue one. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's generate three with a zero cost so my Kadachis get, go again. I'll pay one, two floating. Kadachi numero uno. For one, now, the, the only world that exists is the world where I just continuously take these attacks, right? Excellent, excellent. Uh, second Kadachi for one. Take it. Reactions? No. But I mean, ninja's it, just like the worst. It's so annoying. If my third attack hits, though, I get to draw a card. Always? Yeah. When attack action you control is a third or higher chain link in a row to hit, draw a card. So literally, if I hit three, I draw. If I hit four, I draw. If I hit five, I draw. Till the, the sun comes home. Wow. Till the sun comes home. Mm hmm. Where's the sun's home? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Uh, I'll pay one for a red flock of the Feather Walkers. Five damage attack. It says, as initial cost to play, flock of the Feather Walkers. Reveal a card from my hand that costs one or less. I'll reveal a red Heron's Flight. Cost zero. Um, create a quick and aura token with when you play. So I'll get a quick and token after this is over. And if it hits, you draw a card. No. Yes, because of Mask One Minute. You got it. But it doesn't matter. You don't have to go again, right? Not currently. Red Razor Reflex would give it plus three and go again, which would be pretty sweet. And I've got nothing. Galactus says hard. the sun rides on the back of the turtle, right? Mm hmm. It's true. And I get to redraw, yeah? Yeah. So. Interesting. I'm just here for the quick and token. It's a bummer because the... I really want to play these cards. You can't. I'll, I'll block a five. You got it. I gotta ditch that three of a kind. It sucks. Create a quicken token. End of my turn. Kadachis go home. Hmm. Kadachis go home. Walker goes. Uh, this goes to the bottom. And put that in Arsenal draw. Okay. All right, let's see some weird stuff. Um, mm, mask is once per turn. Good to know. That makes sense. Take aim. Yep. Reload. Plus two. Cross trap. Oh, I need a Fandel. It's a fervent forerunner. Don't sleep. Okay. Yeah, I think the reload into non arrows is the magical. It's interesting. That's right. It's interesting. Boy, what a question. What a strange game. Three. You're just playing Ranger. Perfect Forerunner. Oh, it feels so weird. I'm playing it weird, obviously. You know, it's weird. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Take three. I'm gonna opt two. Hmm. Well, eh. that's just interesting. Hmm. 
Okay. All right. Put this here. Put this one on the bottom. See, because what you could do, so I don't have a ranger attack currently, but I could reload something. I could opt both these to the bottom, reload something, blind Azalea, and hope to hit a ranger attack. I just went through the top, like, I'm going to try it. I got owned by not doing that last time, you know? Not believing. I mean, sometimes, if you pull three or four times in a game, you're probably going to hit at least once or twice, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to take aim again. So your next arrow is what, plus five? Yeah. Then you're going to Azalea and hope you hit a dominate Azalea arrow off That's the right. top rope. 14. Moving on to you. But that could have been insane. It could have been good. Yeah. And it's still fine. But, like, you know, you got to find the balance between the... But that's something that, if you're just normal ranger, right, you can just do a double take aim into an Azalea arrow, and that's that's a fine turn. So you got to make sure the jazz isn't overly jazzy. I am with you. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. I'm going to play a blue crane dance. It's going to destroy my quicken token, so it gets go again. One cost, zero cost, one damage. One damage. Good go again. A one damage crane dance. Mm-hmm. Don't need that. Pass. Take it. Um, we're going to go... <laughs> Red Heron's Flight. Cost zero. It says, if Crane Dance was the last attack... Well, that's attack, true. Uh, Heron's Flight gets plus two. Mm -hmm. So it's now five. And I choose attack or non-attack action. Heron's hmm. Flight can only be defended by cards of the chosen type. Attacks or non-attacks, okay. So I will choose... Attacks. So you're trying to take attacks out of my hand, huh? Well, or just a dumb block. Five damage. Anthony J, defense reactions off of Azalea is brutal. Um, block for three. Take two. Take two. And hold on. We act. That's interesting. Or not. Or perhaps not. Oh, this should be a team. We can keep each other honest now. <laughs> oh, man. Because I can give it a go again, basically, with Snapdragon. Mm, right. It's funny we've been doing this for so long. Mm -hmm. Like 20 years. That's crazy. I haven't yeah, done a we, lot of things in my life for 20 years. I've, you know, I started playing Pokemon when I was nine, so I'm at 20 something years. It's a long time. We've been doing this exact thing for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> Deck building and Constantly, playing. Constantly, yeah. Deck building and playing. Um, no, I, I think it's okay to let this sit. I'm, Great. This is not the turn to go for it. That's it. It's close, though. Take two. Uh, then, oh, that's already my arsenal. I might change my mind. I didn't realize I had arsenal. Do it. Do it. I want to get this fate foreseen out of my arsenal. <laughs> now we're good. Hang. That's it. All right, let's blind Azalea. Let's 
Doing some experimental jazz today. No, all my arrows get go again. Well, that's something. Got that rapid fire in the arsenal. Okay. Hmm. I just, you know, there's weird, that just, what? You gotta. This is not the turn for this. Cool, cool. I'm gonna do it. Since it's specifically since it's not. Play lead the charge. Mm -hmm. uh, play enlightened strike. Put this on the bottom. I'm gonna make it a plus seven or plus two, so seven damage attack. No, no, no! I'm supposed to draw. No, what if I draw? I can't give it a go again. Now, what you could do is rapid fire first, get two action points. Yeah, but anytime you play Enlightened, you're going to be down a card. Mm -hmm. So there's no way to get any use out of this lead to charge on your second action. So I think, I guess you just literally play Enlightened Strike. You just play Enlightened Strike. That's all you can do with that turn. Lead the charge doesn't do anything for me here. And then I gotta put one on the bottom. This. This guy. Okay. How about a seven damage attack coming at you? Seems okay. Yeah, it's not terrible. Hmm. Wait, those tokens are in the works. Don't you worry. Um, Don't you worry, Wade. I won't block from hands. Go to reactions. We're going to play a red flick flack from Arsenal. Ooh. Zero for four. The next uh, card I defend with, with a combo in the uh, text gets plus two. Nothing. You don't. How can you three. possibly defend with a card at combo at this point? Well, if you go again, I can block my next time. Oh, right. Yeah. right, right, right. So I take how many? Uh, three? Seven minus four. Yeah, take three. So take five, add two. Got it. Passing it over. All right. Well, it's action time. Ninja is so different than... It's crazy, than right? It, how do you get so much difference in four-card hands? It's amazing. And with such minimal it's differences. It's really good. It's really good. Uh, let's go Kadachi number one. I'm sure there's like some kind of a obvious this is how you're supposed to play against Ninja thing. Uh, take one. Yep. Let's go Kadachi number two. Block for two. All right. Let's go. Nope. Can't do that. Specifically. Mm. Jim Volan Ninja bores me. Uh, I'll just pass. Put this in arsenal. All right, Tunic is in. Oh, wait, I had a Tunic. <sighs> got him. We got him. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. <laughs> That's such a difference maker. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the inefficiencies. Uh, <laughs> your, your Bravo deck, like looking at the garbage that we're making here, Yeah. your Bravo deck was actually obviously doing some well yeah <laughs> but i've iterated on that right 
Rapid fire. Arrows all have go again. Reload. Mm hmm. Skullbone. No, there's no need to do it now. I'll do it later. Um, Pathing Helix coming in for four with go again. No cards. Don't sleep on what's about to happen, actually. Leave the charge after rapid fire, then Pathing Helix from Arson. Gain an action point. So I'll have two actions after this. That track? Because it has to go again. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Because of rapid fire. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, take it. All right, take four. If it hits and I have no cards in my arsenal, put a card from my hand face down into my arsenal. I don't need to do that. I uh, guess I will, just to show off. Uh, <laughs> generate one. For three of a kind. Oh my my. Oh my my. Now let's see if anything can happen here. Um, so I've got two actions. But I can only play from Arsenal, so that gets really bizarre. It's like, there's got to be... So here's our question. Once you play three of a kind, is there a way to get a non-arrow in your Arsenal? That's really what we need to ask. Is there a reload that you can play? Well, you can use Azalea's ability if you already have something. Yeah. In Arsenal. Yeah. Yeah. So if you did, like... Even now, if you can get a card in Arsenal, you could then reload with Azalea. So if you... Let's look at this. Let's mm -hmm. actually just make it not good. So Rapid Fire into Pathing Helix. If you hold both of these cards... Then Pathing Helix resolves. You put me the charge in. Then you play three of a kind from hand. Now at least you've got Azalea plus Redliner. Mm -hmm. That's the right way to do that, yeah? Yeah, plus you can look at the top card to see what you're getting. Yeah. Okay. I'm with that. I'm with that now. Okay, let's cross wrap it. Cross wrap Supreme. Like Crunch Wrap Supreme. Isn't that funny? Okay. That's actually good. Yeah, you can say it in, play okay, it. Okay, okay. Then load it up with the arrow. So then, Azalea, to put this in. Yeah, lead goes under. And it comes in face up. Yeah, right? it does. And he, all your arrows have go again, too. So yeah. you potentially get a draw off of that. Under run. Mm -hmm. Next time I attack, draw a card. It's plus three. Yeah, just keep stacking it. Red liner. Mm -hmm. So the end of the Ridge Rider shot. Opt one, I, I guess it probably won't matter. Okay. Then Ridge Rider shot with go again. Mm -hmm. At seven. Mm -hmm. mm, I'll take it. See what happens. Woo! Take seven? Yeah. Five, six, seven. And then you get to draw a card to the plunder run. Yeah. And then I go again. So you still have an action, technically. But I can only play from Arsenal. Yeah. So yeah. you can bullseye in, into something. Good. No arrows. So I didn't put enough in the deck. Nailed it. Then in the Arsenal. Still a crazy good turn. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Maybe a few more arrows. Maybe a little too much jazz there. All right, mine. Yeah, but you, you can definitely see that rapid fire is the is the way. Mm -hmm. Show me the way. Where are there? Show me the way. Uh, let's go red scarf first scarf. Oh come on! You know what? You love it. Classic. How much is that car worth? Six thousand dollars. One bazillion dollars. Funny, man. <laughs> Bazillion. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, pass. Nothing. Take no, four, I don't care. Man. I don't care. I don't eat care. It, eat Come it on. in the teeth. Um, Check out your okay. scar right here, buddy. Then let's think about this.
Let's use my free resource to play red uh, flock of the feather walkers. I've seen this before. For five? And I will reveal a red enlightened strike. Oh, come on. You don't have go again, though, do you? Currently, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> you got a red and light and strike there, huh? Mm hmm. Interesting. Oh, man. Um, this is your second attack. You haven't used Kodachi's. You don't have a go again. Not currently. You got something weird in Arsenal. You have something that gives you go again after that? I mean, Snapdragon came to go again. After you uh, win with the attack with a card with cost. Uh, yeah. It's an attack reaction, so I can make this have go again specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it hits or not. Mm -mm. I'll pass. I will pass. All right. Oh, wait. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant into your putting cards in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... All right. <laughs> oh, man. What a hoot. What a hoot. Hmm. Let's uh, Snapdragon Scalers. Give it a go. You did it. Take no reaction. Still taking five? Yeah. Okay, take it. Uh, we'll play a red light enlightened strike. As an cost to play it, put a card from my hand at the bottom of my deck. I'll do that. Uh, and I will give it... It has quicken, so it has go again already. I'll give it plus two. You destroy the quicken immediately? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll just go ahead and draw a card. And then you'll also draw for the ability, right? The Mask of Momentum? Or is that only combos? If it hits, yeah. Only combos? Mm, no, that's just third attack. What is attack. going on? This class is busted. <laughs> you don't even play ninja cards. <laughs> They're basically ninja cards. You don't even play ninja cards. Look at these guys. These all look like ninjas. This is ridiculous. <laughs> You're getting beat up by neutrals. Half the Mysterious says, and it was all generics with cry laugh face. <laughs> We're just playing generic cards against each other with these decks. We're doing, I think we might be doing it wrong. I don't feel like I'm doing it wrong. Oh, yeah? But I feel like you're doing it right. I'm getting beat up here. You're ahead on health. There's no beating. I'm taking it all. You got mm. shenanigans? Mm, mask of momentum. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There is shenanigans. It already has go again. From what? The quicken token. Right. So... I have no reactions. I'll just keep going. Okay. I got to draw a card. Yeah. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. This is called going wide, right? This is what it actually looks like. This is what it actually looks cool. like. Yeah. Uh huh. You're not supposed to be able to go wide with a four, five, seven damage attack. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. There's weird stuff going on here. I got to think. I think if I play that, hit. And I guess I'll play, swing with a Kadachi. Here it is. One floating resource. Pass. Hold on. This could get funner. Um, man, if I'd had this card in reverse order, it's crazy towns. Let me go. <laughs> um, <laughs> from my arsenal, I'll pay one for a red razor reflex ah. to make it a four. And then I'll put this in Arsenal. I, got to, I don't know. I may have taken one. What is it? Nothing. Where is it? Nothing crazy. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Nice. Nice. You just nice. got ninja. Nice. All right. Yeah. Fandal. Cross trap. Promise of plenty. Opting. Nice. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay. Sorry, we promise a plenty there. I love what's about to happen. 
Um, okay. From Arsenal. From Arsenal. From downtown. It doesn't have, so if I can use this, I should. Unless it prevents me from hitting, in which case, you know. Or maybe you do. Especially. Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. Mm. I rather like my hand. I'll let you have it. Go ahead. Do Three. Okay, let's go again. Uh, Puts the top card of their deck face down into their arsenal. Bummer. I guess I'll leave it there. Ravenous Rabble. Red. What's that blue? Hmm. It's three of a kind. Take four? Take four if you want. I'll take it. I'm not setting up for anything big. Don't worry about it. Ravenous Rabble. Oh my goodness, again? Gross. <laughs> you want a slap fight, bro? I got your okay. slap fight I'll right take, here. I'll take four. Just trying to get those scar for scars online, you know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta be losing so I can be winning. <laughs> this has definitely been a slap fight. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. What was this? I know what this is. Hold on, let me think for a second. It says, oh, it's the other guy. Okay. All right. Not a big deal, man. Not a big <laughs> deal here. <laughs> man. <laughs> Fun times. Fun times. I'm just here for the party. Red liner here. Okay. For a red red rider shot. I oh, don't do that yet. You didn't see that. Don't worry about that. I don't know what it does. <laughs> I know it's an arrow. Uh, and line strike. Go again. Oh my. Uh huh. You gotta put this under. Take it. Mm. Red liner. This is a this is a turn. <laughs> Still there. More coming at you. Take it. Okay. 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 He's got death deal under that red liner. Yeah. What... There's a death dealer under the red liner. That's a, he, he, this deck's doing it now. Yeah, but. You know, it, I mean, you have the arsenal play. It's true. I mean, it's true. It's doing what it needs to do, it's and true. you're opting into it, and yeah, smooth the edges. That, out. that was wider, yeah. And lightning strike was a good. That's a good, just general. Just have it. <laughs> yeah, just a fine card to have. Just play it. All right, you ready? Yeah. This is gonna be quite something. That's a bummer because, like, I have cards I'd really rather not use defend to block. With? Yeah. Well, you're about to defend. Uh, <laughs> yellow. I'm gonna re generate resources. To play Art of War. You just totally tripped rice out. <laughs> Yellow resources <laughs> drop. Uh, choose two. Uh, my attack action cards get plus one, and the next attack action card I play this turn gains go again. Now, what, in what world do you pay one? Oh, you generate the yellow. I get you. Okay, I have one. For I got you. you. Okay, so you're, you, everything is at plus one, and then uh, other things are happening. Next attack is go again. Yeah. Okay. Play a blue soul bead strike. So it's a three damage attack, and it has go again. What's all this then? How many cards you got? Two left? Two left. What can a man even do with two? You yeah, have like a weird draw a bunch of cards card? I don't know. Perhaps. Wait. It's at least one. I have no idea. <laughs> it's not the actual card even, so there's no chance. <laughs> you I gotta look down it. and go like, oh, <laughs> I love this card. Anytime I'm like, hmm, I need an extra resource, I think, oh yeah, tunic. You don't have a quicken token. No, man. Nothing weird. Yeah, you scattered to the four winds. Um, I will pass the phase where I put cards in the actual thing. Go ahead. You got a defense reaction? Yeah. 
It's sink below. Red. Got it. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. I, now, do I trigger it? That's a question. No. Wait. No. I'm going to continue on. You're going to continue. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to play a red crane dance. So it gets plus one from Art of War. And it says, if Soul Beat Strike was the last attack this combat bat chain, it was. It gets plus one. Go again. And it cannot be defended by attack action cards with a base attack greater than the number of chain links I control. Right on. So anything with a base of two mm. or higher cannot be used to block. Mm -hmm. High damage? Mm-hmm. Attack action cards can't block. Mm -hmm. But action cards presumably could. Mm -hmm. Five? Mm -hmm. What are you up to over there? Wait, I don't wait, know. What's the last card? I mean, what could it possibly... <laughs> What could it possibly be? A zero yellow, right, is the worst thing. Probably you get two Kodachis. Is that the best you got? I like that you're afraid. <laughs> you gotta be afraid. Uh, I'll block for two. Okay, so you take three. Taking three. Okay, then I'll play blue fine center. Was that like the super combo breaker? Yeah, if, it's, it's not. It's just what I wanted to do. <laughs> if uh, Crane Dance was the last, it was. Uh, attack this combat chain. Fine Center cannot be defended by cards with a resource cost less than the number of chain links I control. Three. Uh, and it gains, if this hits, create a Zen State token. You got it. You zen, you zen <laughs> it. Now, what I could do, that's only a two. It's a three. Because <sighs> of Art of War. I could put on my... Look at all these ninja cards. You called for it, and here it is. Put my boots and my... Cross strap in there. Don't think that's a good idea. That's what I got. What does Zen State do? Does it make you awesome? Zen State enters the arena with one balance counter on it. At the beginning of my action phase, I destroy Zen State unless I remove a balance counter from it. So to be for this Two next turns. Game. Or Whenever my hero would be dealt damage, prevent one damage. That source would deal. Fine. You can have it. Take three. You only have three health? Yep. You kidding me. But I got Zen State with a balance counter on it, so good luck. Tunic in. Arsenal in. Draw. Mmm, mine, eh? Oh my my, yes. Hmm. And I remove one. You said it, man. You said it, man. Machination, that's right. <laughs> Take care, Obsidian. Thanks for stopping in. You just leave me alone for a turn, maybe? Mm -mm. This is where I have to put on the gas. No. Let's go Enlightened Strike Red. Mm. And we will give it a uh, draw card. No, go again. And I have to put something down there. You seen you have Razor Reflex, basically? No. What would ever make you think that? Because I've got to block it. All right, let's block with three. You know what? I might actually have to put my boots in. See you, Obsidian. Yeah, they're gone. You can have my boots. Your enlightened strike. Okay. So let's go ahead and play uh, with this yellow razor reflex. Plus two and go again. I have two resources floating. 
All right, so here at seven, I take five. Um, I'll take five. Shenanigans. Uh, I'll spend one. See a boots on a Kadachi. More black. Take one. Spend one on a Kadachi. Yeah, go again. You got a zero over there. Yeah, that's what I, I did. That's <laughs> what I, I did it. Uh, I'll pass. Okay. Any weird stuff? Uh, if it hits, I draw a card. Mm. <laughs> mm. Your displeasure at that it's was amazing. One? It's just a lowly one. Joshua, the odds are not bad that that's what's going to happen. Asking him to do a mass box opening when Monarch comes out. Cross trap for one. You block it. All right. Um, it does have go again. Which I won't use. So I'm gonna put Stop. It yeah. Down to two, though. Right where I want you. Are you still zinned out? All right. This is my last zen turn. Yep. Uh huh. Start with three of a kind. Hello. With the tunic. Okay. You still zinned out. Pay one for the tome. Mm-hmm. Got two. He set it up. <laughs> set him up, knock him down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Yikes. Just over here studying. Meanwhile, I'm in a state of zen. That's right. We just took a break. Okay. All right. Zen state gone. <laughs> it's my turn. It's a good exchange. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, start here. <laughs> Just beautiful. Let's actually start here. I'm going to swing with a Kadachi. Floating resource. Let's go again. For one. Mm -hmm. The old ninja death by a thousand cuts. Death by a thousand cuts. It's not a... T Swift song for that. They isn't there. Very pleased. Isn't there always? Okay. Evan says, I thought my audio was muted, and then I heard the gears in your heads turning. Um, you know what? Pass. Take one. Shenanies? Nope. Second Kadachi. Well, that's the easy one to block. So... I'm going to have to think about my turn for a second. Excellent, excellent. So we'll do this. Then we'll do this. To this. Okay. So what I'm looking at is I need Nick Murphy. That was sick. I think he was talking about your uh, draw gain nine health. <laughs> that's seven a, health that's a good turn. Um, I'm going to take one. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. Play a red soul bead strike. If it hits, it gains go again. The zero for draw. Free. And I would draw if it hits. Well, this is untenable. It's a big hit. You gotta block it. This must is, block. This is the uh must block moment. Do you have combo in it? No. 
Can't give it a plus one. Nothing on the table can mess with this. But a raise reflex could. It sure could, and I have a free resource floating. Hmm. hmm. You're on the razor's edge here. One misstep, and it could be a Kajapi <laughs> in the back. <laughs> you're not on the le the edge unless you're over the edge. Wise man once said. Mm -hmm. Set yourself. Good. You've got two cards. How many areas of reflex in your discard pile? Out of curiosity. This here? Yeah. <laughs> this here discard pile. There's a yellow razor reflex uh -huh. and a red razor reflex. One of each. One of each. Yeah. But to pay for one, you'd have to have one unless you have one in the arsenal. I have pay a free here. Yeah. You have a free there. Yeah. So the odd, pretty pretty good odds that I have two yellows and two reds floating around somewhere. But yeah, that's a big stack of cards. <laughs> oh man, this is good. This is fun. I'm having a good time. Three. Ooh, there goes tunic. Four. Oh my my. All right, mine attack yeah. action. Yeah. From Arsenal, we'll start with an Ancestral Empowerment. Target Ninja attack action card gets plus one, and I draw a card. Hardly impressive. Action to you. <laughs> Let's go! Five or four, <laughs> huh? Um, play Take Cover. Is that going to resolve? Sure. I mean, I have an anti-resolution card. Here. Reload here. So, what are you at now? Seven? Seven. To my what? Seven to five. Mm-hmm. Cards in hand? Yes. How many? Four. <laughs> Rascal. <laughs> Watch yourself. We'll use my free resource and play Yellow Razor Reflex. One to seven and giving it. Oh no, it's if it hits, it gets go again. Not doing that. You're saying you can't make it hit, huh? I don't think so. But that's ultimately okay. Okay, so that I'll clear. I'm gonna put this in Arsenal. These will go. It's a go under. We'll try again tomorrow. I do not have Razor Reflex. Don't worry about that. Here comes a Forerunner. Mm -hmm. If it hits, it's Opt 2. It's played from Arsenal, so it does gain go again. I'd rather it not hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, well. You see? One. Put that mask in. There's breaking scales in, man. Man. Go, I won't block with any cards. You get first reaction. I have none. I'll throw in a yellow springboard somersault from my arsenal. For four. For four. Cover the rat. Cover the rat up. Okay. Well, this gets interesting. I wish I had those perch grapplers. Um, you Kodachi them. <laughs> they got one. <laughs> and my axe. And my axe. Okay. Now, it reloads option, right? Yeah, you may. Take aim. Plus three. This is, you're continuing down the path. Yeah. So this actually technically clears. As if it doesn't matter. All right. Take aim on a plus three there. Red take aim. Crack these. Face up plus one. It's a headshot. Let's cast that headshot. Cast magic missile. Ten damage coming at you. How is it ten? Okay, I got it. 
Now, I could have blind Azalea that for Dominate. Would it have won me the game? We won't know until we know the top card, because all of my opting things are lying in the street. <laughs> all right, two, three. Well, it's now or never, isn't it? I should do this differently, and I'm going to do that now. I'm going to pay for it with Sync Below. I just feel like you have to block this with like two to three cards, so I probably don't want Sync Below in my arsenal because you're probably not going to swing for four. Rods are not in my favor. Uh, Yeah, let's throw in yes. those. Oh, those scales stick around, too. That's nice. Yeah. So three, six. Do you get first reaction? None. Think below red. Make it 10. You got it. Block it up. Block it up. Block it in. Let me begin. <laughs> it's going to my arsenal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Drawing my cards. Mine? Yeah. Let's swing with a Kadachi. Why? Why does this always have to be what's happening? Take it. Swing with the Kadachi. Take it. Uh, put this into Arsenal. Nice. Ravenous Rabble. Reveal the top card. To Pathing Helix. For four? Four damage coming at you. I won't block with anything. You get first reaction. I have none. Right. Red Flick Flack. You did it. Next card I block with has combo and it gets plus two defense. Are you serious? Yeah. Is it going to have combo? <laughs> Honey and Dog says, Fab always gets so intense at little life. That's true. Yeah, that's right. Play a lightning strike. Give it a go again. For five? That's right. I'll block for five. Look like running this show right now. Look like says no. <laughs> Azalea. This thing. What do I do? Put a card on the bottom. I just have to last long enough for my daggers to get it done. This one on top. Having Helix four with Dominate. Mm hmm. It's block with three. Take one. Take one. Put this in the arsenal. That was a turn. Mm-hmm. No. Turn that needed to do it. Devastating your flip flack. <laughs> Dancing it around. Maybe it's so angry. <laughs> All right, let's play a Kadachi. <laughs> one floating. <laughs> mm. You got nothing else? I have a card in arsenal, a free resource, and a floating resource. So We'll see. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I'll take it. Okay. Let me think about this. Yeah, Ryan, I could put it in, but it, it's the same difference. I didn't have go again on the arrow, so either way, it's the same card going in. Second Kadachi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just raise a reflex it right now. I'd be so mad. Red raise a reflex would yeah. do it. You um, got the money too. I'm going to yellow raise a reflex it with my free resource for plus two. 
Whew, that's close. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> you're, you're in the one really 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 Kadachi territory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really should be. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. 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 Now this is where things get weird. I must survive. I can take I can take a shot at Azalea. Blind. And if you get dominated, it's pretty good. But if it's a defense reaction, it shuts down the entire turn. <laughs> you gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. But also, like, the best I could do... Let's, look at, let's just look at the odds. How many defense reactions do I have left? Right? Spring tuning. Take that one with me. Honey and I, uh, he was at three and he took both. Uh, or no, he wasn't at three. My razor reflex got him down to one. Because it was oh, a man. three Kadachi. Dude. Big opportunity. I only have two in the discard pile. <laughs> two arrows? No, two defense reactions. Mm, big Out opportunity like to hit what you don't 14, want. 14, yeah. yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to play rapid fire. Mm -hmm. All arrows have go again. Reload does not get used. Searing shot, go again. Zero for four. If it hits, you lose one. So even if I take one, I take two. That's right. Block with no cards. Pass. Red sink below. Um, <laughs> let's put this under. Take game. Next ranger attacks plus two. Fervent forerunner. Hit top two. Go again. This is a three. Three. A block of the three. Redliner. Endless arrow down here. Mm -hmm. Endless arrow for six. Well, there's only one option. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the blood. I have to block with four, five. Big All one. right. Close. That was very close. And the Sarah hits, goes back to my hand, and it goes into Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Then I'm out of hand, so it's your turn. And I hope for better. This is where Azalea needs to just roll into a big dominate and call it a day. Honey dog, I don't know. I was at two. Now I'm at one. Oh, we got ourselves an old fashioned scrum. Scrum, don't we? I want so badly to use Azalea right now. If you hit, you probably win. I know, but there's not. And if I don't hit, I, I think if I don't at least try it, I don't think I win this game. Yeah, losing tempo here would be bad. You can't. You're one turn ahead of me. There's too many Kodachis. There's too many Kodachis. Agreed with the sentiment. Nothing fancy going on here, right? Nothing fancy. All right. Hey, heart of the cards, man. This is 100% a defense reaction. It's going to drive me insane. I mean, if it is, it's not like you just auto lose. Okay, hold on. I've, I've got... I'm cooking up something. I'm cooking up something here. All right. 
let's play rapid fire. Mm -hmm. Here is going to go again. And this arrow for four. Maybe you don't have any fours. <laughs> Who would think that? Maybe you got a three, a three, and two blanks. Well, that's not the case. I just have to burn threes. Just don't do any kadachis, though. Block your six. Okay. I uh, promise a plenty from you. Three damage. Block for three. You did it. Um. Let me know whether that was an error on the top of your deck or not. Oh, it would have been so good. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I love it. Um, I love it. Cool. Put this in the arsenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can always just say it out. Okay. Okay. All right. Mine? Yeah. Kadashi for one. Mm-hmm. You got no cards in here? Nope. Nothing uh, fancy. I'm just going to do an opt one fate foreseen. <laughs> Nailed it. Kadashi for one. Take cover. Reload. You're good. <laughs> Just digging now. <laughs> uh. Okay. So if we do this, <laughs> Machination. Looks like we're having a good old fashioned flesh and blood standoff. Howdy, partner. <laughs> Azalea. Yeah. What lets you look at the top there? Oh, the red red shot. Forward dominate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have to have a four. Uh, yeah. Red flick flack. You know it. You love it. And we were dancing. There's a reflex. No! <laughs> um, pass. Yes. Get eaten alive by the ranger. Yes. See, I think that's working. Something about it is working. There are turns that's just like... They're, they're really good turns. Unreasonable. Yeah, they're really good turns. There's a way to make this good. It's Agreed. just a little tweaking around the edges Agreed. to really do it. We need reps. Ooh, that was good. That was the, great. The turn I forgot to use the spring tunic. Well, if I'm on one health, then you definitely should have won if you had used that tunic. So the, that play was definitely worth one damage. Because I ended up not being able to use it for two or three turns because yeah. of that. You got stuck. But the one was, I, I forgot how I was going to pay for it, which is... um. It was my flock of the feather walkers for one, but it cost me a card and I realized I couldn't play it. And I was like, well, I made the mistake. The flock problem. But I had the resource here. So like when I first started the turn, I had the math. <sighs> and then that that was literally the turn where I lost the tempo. That's like how it's, it, it yeah. was close, but like it's where I just got <laughs> behind by an action. And it was like, oh, wait a second. That dude, that uh, that's the top four, like lose the game on a stupid thing like that. That haunts you forever. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's kind of like that. Maybe a little less serious. We're just <laughs> hanging out here playing. I'm not sweating it, but it was cool to see. Um, yeah. Definitely really cool to see. This, to me, feels like the right... Uh, Ryan Cooper saying, I said, Redliner seems sweet in Blitz. This feels like the right way to go with Redliner. That you're, you're pretty much always able... Because the one resource needing to put a card in an arsenal shuts it down, but... If you're always able to put that last arrow in for zero, it really makes a difference. And if the arrow is zero most of the time. Yeah. Then you just, you just always have a free arrow. Yeah, at the end. But 
there's some love here. So what's the next to build? What's the next thing to build, do you think? What should I build? So Brute and Warrior. I kind of like Brute. I mean, there's also just classic. Warrior, I yeah. already pretty much have built. The double sword, but double sword you have to go yeah. up to three copies of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that deck. Yeah. That deck is great. But I think that deck will not take you long to build. No. I also think that's a deck we need in the pillars. Yeah. Like, my decks have to get used to playing against that, as do yours. Mm -hmm. So we'll have our gauntlet built at that point. So I'll do that. I can build that really quickly. I'll probably build it before the stream, honestly, next week. Next week. I mean, we can also, like, literally open with build a Dorinthia deck, build a Brute deck, and then, then we'll have decks built. And then, at that point, it's just jam games Oh, that's week. Is that everything but Mechanologist? Everything but Mech. Because I have four... You have Azalea, you Warrior. Stuck me with me. But Mechanol just kind of builds itself, doesn't it? You just yeah, put you all just the dash. boost cards. I mean, eventually pile. I'll build Dash and it'll be fine. Yeah. And then we'll just test against it sometimes. But... Is is there really much finesse to to the, the Mechanologist stuff? You guys want to hit me up on that? I mean, at it worst, it's a good, like it's a good just... fence to know you have to be able to jump over. Yeah, you just, you literally just get in the car, put a brick on the gas pedal, and then watch. <laughs> <laughs> Can you jump over this car? It's on fire and it's heading straight at you. You, you have a hundred percent chance to boost. What's it gonna do? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I'm ca like, I'm interested in building it, but not as interested as the other four I've already built. Right. Yeah. So, like at some point, I'll build it. But I'm excited for us just to have built decks that we are playing against these various decks, tweaking, figuring out sideboards every week, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I just, I'm just curious. I don't know. It just seems like. Uh, Evan, what's up? Uh, missed the entire stream. You'll have to just watch it back. <laughs> hey, it went pretty well. I mean, you know, it's a minimal, it's, it's a little less arrows than maybe you would think to, to do it first. Um, I'm not sure it's the right number, but the things I'm really liking, I'm really liking the ability to go, it's a very simple thing. It's basically give, like, take aim red. So this, this is honestly, this is really the, hold on, let's just look at it. Because this yeah, is really dog. the whole point. This is what I was realizing as we got into it. As we got into it. So with Redliner, what you really do, you're able to sneak in a card that otherwise wouldn't be there. So your ideal kind of just like basic turn. And you can always, those Ravenous are so good in that. It's devastating. I also think after we get all these decks built, we should start playing with our hands up some. Yeah. Start looking. Okay, so here's really what it is. It's take aim, next Rangers plus three, reload. You reload into like a fervent forerunner, or one of my favorites that I wasn't able to, I think, do that game mm. is reload into like a plunder run or something. Yeah, let me find that just so we can get it out there. Because then you can plunder run, use the bow to load the arrow out. Yeah, so you actually reload into a plunder run, then you play plunder run. So now you're at plus six. You're plus six, right? And then you red liner into whatever arrow it is, and then. You shoot that or, arrow, or if it's a Ridge Rider, you can look and see, or you can see if you want to Azalea it. When you put it down, you can use your cross wrap just to see. Mm -hmm. And if it's better, then Azalea can literally put it in with six and dominate. Yeah. Now, the problem with the cross wrap is that the bow puts this in face up, and cross wrap has to turn something face up to use the ox. Uh, so if you saw me not using it, that's that's the weird thing about okay. it. Okay, but you could have started it with cross wrap. Mm -hmm. And then if you have an arrow on top, when you get to this stage, you play it, and then you can literally put the arrow in so you have dominate swing. And I really like, you know, just like this basic three card combo, which is essentially for forerunner is not something you really want to block. It's a three damage attack. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, op two is too good because then you red liner and you can look at the top two and dominate yeah, arrow. That's too good. So it's like you got to block this and then you roll in here with a seven damage attack. So you had to block a three and now a seven? Yeah. So you're doing about 10-ish damage pretty easily. And yeah. it's pretty resilient in the and, way it's in a out. In a 40 health game, too. Like That's kind of where I got with Bravo. Where it's like, I only need to do a 17 damage swing two or three times? 100%. And then, now, and then this kind of opens... This is what gets opened up after that. Which is, what happens if you what have... What up, Tom McCall? Good to see your name something like Ravenous Travel. So like this kind of a turn is kind of the go wide, the beautiful go wide turn. Well, you honestly have turns where it's Ravenous Travel because you're running so many reds. One or two of those plus Enlightened Strike it alone is a good turn. It's good. But a lot of times that turn is finished off with an arrow. With the last, last ditch <laughs> that arrow. That you just get to happen, yeah. right? But this is like do four, then you've got another three to worry about, and then you've got seven. 
So that's like a pretty sophisticated wide deck, but that's why you don't want those one cost things because yeah. it totally screws this math up. Unless you have the Fandels, and then maybe you turn this into like a Red in the Ledger, or you yeah. turn this into a totally. Knock the Death Whistle, or whatever it is. Well, Knock, so, well, knock also loads up the thing that it like, like dominates with, right? Yeah. Which is just knowing your arrows on top is nice. Yeah, so um, you're going to put that in. You're definitely going to put that yeah. in. But I think it's basically this build is about this. And then what happens here is what we need to tweak out. Yeah. And so... And I, I do think the... Um, uh, I just lost it. And really, honestly, if you're like take aim, reload into plunder run, and then this becomes like a knock into something ridiculous. Yeah. Now that's you're, a five that does something crazy. Now that's a killer, and it becomes a five plus three plus three. Yeah. So now it's like, oh, that's a dominate. That's a good game ender. Yeah. Yeah. Again, you only need three or four of those in the game. Yep. Moments. And if you just have your standard little exchanges, you just need two or three of those. And yeah. You have enough. You really do. I I loved having. I think one of the best cards in this entire deck is take cover. I think this card is phenomenal. Mm. Just you know, on your turn, being able to get something in my arsenal. Just sets up that next turn so much better. Yeah, or lets you double defense react from yep. the pile. Like, I mean, there's a really good finesse there. Yeah. I, I think your appreciation oh of the value of various Ranger cards through the past two weeks has been really helpful. Yeah. This is. When we were good. first looking at the pile, it's like, well, all these seem good. And then mm -hmm. you start playing them, you're like, this one is always good. Yeah. I like this one a lot. Yeah. Uh, you start to learn. Very, very cool. It's what, amazing. What a deep game, man. Yeah. It's, I, this was, this is, it continues to be more than I was expecting. To be honest, Still, to be somehow, perfectly almost honest a year with later. You. Yeah, that it's kind of like it, you know what it, it feels like. The way that I felt early on when I was playing like either World of Warcraft or Diablo two, where I felt like the ways in which I could build like a talent tree were infinite. Like the way that I could choose my skills sure. and like build something out is like, oh, there's, I could go down this way, I could go down this way. Now in those games, eventually like the meta settles real quick. Where it's like, well, this is the best thing to do. Or mm -hmm. like, you can only do actually five builds, not 20,000. But it hasn't done that yet. Not for me, at least. Well, I, I think for two reasons. Uh, one, it's not a computer game with millions of people playing, so they can't figure it out as fast. Two, a lot of people haven't been playing that much. Yeah. Because of the pandemic. We've been so fortunate. Yeah. We're playing a lot more than most, 99% uh, uh, of people right now, yes. probably. Normally, like, if I think Which a normal means we're time. Going to be so good. There would be a lot of tournaments. We're going to crash. <laughs> we're going to destroy you. <laughs> uh, but I think a lot of times right now, right, there would be like the ranger builds. But like yep. ranger, to me, from what I've seen online, is a semi unexplored class. Yeah, because it People came out late, it. and They're... then after that first set, it really wasn't there. And then you know it has fans and stuff. But Crucible only came out in August, and it's just weird. Yeah, obviously it's weird. They're all weird, mm -hmm. but. It's less, if, if this is really working, then it's just less obvious than I originally thought. Because I think my first instinct is load all the arrows into the deck and so shoot them. Hit, yeah. And now it's like, well, actually. Yeah, you only want some. I mean, you're a ranger. Tennis. So it's like, you're going to shoot some arrows, but you're not just like raining down a thousand arrows every turn. And let's not forget, Aragorn mainly was fine with a sword. But he could shoot a bow. But he could shoot a bow. If he needed it. If he needed it, that's right. <laughs> All right, that was great. We'll be back next week. Uh, building some more decks, here, tweaking some stuff. I'm really excited to get Wizard and Runeblade on the table. Those are probably the two. Bravo to me. I, like, I, I had a concept earlier, and I, I was happy to see it working. But bra for me, I think Wizard and Runeblade are my ranger, which is like, I know it's interesting, and I think there's weird stuff to do that is not just obvious, and that's what I'm excited to find. But here's the weird thing about playing Wizard. Tell me if you feel this way. Do you feel like you'll ever be the person that is really the best at Wizard? Because we know the person who's the best at Wizard, and it is not either of us, <laughs> I would make the argument. It is not. It's I, Kindle. I, I would bet that Runeblade and Bravo are the ones that I will yeah. figure out the best. Yeah. Like, Runeblade is weird like Wizard, but has the, like... It, yeah, it's got the, the big... Tenancy, you know, yeah, it's the like, giant yeah. And it's a little evil, just, you know, yeah. it's like got Zach written all but over it. But it's like, you know, like the, like, <laughs> not black and white evil, but, like, maybe... No. Mm -hmm. You know, it's That's it's the whole ruined. thing of an Dark Knight, right? It's like, it's like... Once it was explained to me what it all it was, it was like, oh, okay, I get that. Yeah. It's the, like, I'm bad, but also, like, you know, doing good things character. And maybe one day... If all is right with the world, we'll get a Runeblade hero who is a conflicted young teenager. 
Oh, with yeah. black hair and a yeah, scar right. across his eye. You know, I mean, you're... Viscere is kind of it, right? Look at this. Look at young Viscere. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, he's a little zombie-ish. Yeah, but he's just got the magical energy going on. I could use a little less zombie in that magic. Yeah. I mean... That's pretty cool. Right, yeah. Viscere rune you know, is... Come on, you... You're a big fan of Darth Vader. You're a big yeah. fan of Nazgul. That's basically it's a kind mix of that, right yeah. there. Yes. <laughs> it's literally a Nazgul uh, Vader character. All right. Hey, yeah. good to see this everybody. Great. This game is Thanks phenomenal. Thanks for being here. Shadow of the Legend Story Studios for creating this amazing game for working with us. We're super excited about it. Uh, so we'll catch you next week for more Flesh and Blood. Stay Take soon. care, everybody.